What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am back. Let me put this message away. And, uh, what, what, who won, by the way? What was the voting results? Three and one and zero. One person voted for the third caravan, which is actually not bad. I didn't vote, so. Third. The three was the top. Okay, so no, yeah, can't choose. All right. Let's see here. What are we doing? We are doing this one, right? Yep, we're doing that one. So this is number 15, April 21-P20-number 15. We've won 15 towns in a row now so far. I'm locked into the first one because you guys voted uh, the first caravan. Uh, I would have probably preferred the bottom, honestly, I think. Just because it comes with least lizards. I mean, they're both kind of the same. The only difference is the seven coins I'm giving up for not taking lizards. All right, that's fine. So we're going to take the money. Yeah, I think the bottom would have been better because I was going to take money anyways. But at least we would have been guaranteed lizards, right? Yep, I think the bottom would have been the better choice had I had to think about it. You voted bottom, Killer Whale? Good job. Good job. Killer Whale, good job. Bottom, I think, would have made the most sense because I was going to take money anyways. At least I would have been guaranteed lizards, right? More beavers, more fun. Ugh, beaver lovers. Now that last game, the brewery really carried us and that that ale thing, right? That ale cornerstone. What how did we get that brewery? What uh what time order did we do? I can't remember what time order we won we got for that brewery. Embark farm on marshlands with no humans? Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, it was four points, so I decided to take it. I'm hoping... I'm gambling on having a human. It was four points, so... Oh, shit. I'm brick-starved. Oh, maybe... Oh, no. I think I'm... I think I... Oh, my God. I'm regretting that choice now. If you think I voted for the easiest start, you are streaming on the wrong platform, <laughs> Greg. Oh, right, on. All right, let's see here. All buildings use fertile soil produ uh, produced 50% more goods during drizzle. Hey, look. At least the forced mystery is in our favor. We just need to find... We just need to find... Uh, the soil, right? All buildings using fertile soil produces 50% more goods during drizzle season. Includes clearance. Oh, oh no. Gaining impatience doesn't lower... Gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience. Okay, that's... That's hostility level 2. So I need to make sure not to turn anything in during the storm. Oh no. Rotting wood. Seriously. Come on. I keep getting rotting wood. It's terrible. Villagers need to create makeshift lightning rods. Oh, jeez. If I don't have copper, I lose buildings. Oh, my god. Uh, every storm season, two blights, uh, rot, scythe, peers in the settlement, multiply the number of years have passed. Oh, man. Not looking good at all. Herb Garden, Tinker. I'm going to go with the Tinker. Yeah, alright, I'm going to go with the Tinker. Damn it. Oh, come on! What is this? I'm screwed, guys. I'm so screwed. No wood and more Blight Joy. Yeah, this this is really bad, guys. Everything is going against me right now. The RNG is not in my favor. And keep in mind, chat voted on the uh, caravan, not me. Um, Yeah, I think I kind of slightly screwed up not taking bricks. I don't know how I'm going to get... 
get out of my bricks problem. That's five, right? I only have two. Uh, I need to save my bricks for that. Well, you can buy them from all those ammers. Yeah. Eh. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. This is going to be another rough run, guys. Very, very rough run. Oh, boy. Hmm. Do I get I don't think I get stones from the walls, right? Nope, no stones from the walls. Alright, well let's see here. Let's 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 see if we can find soil here. I mean according to the drizzle thingy, it says there's there's soil, right? I don't see anything. I'm just glancing right now. I'm not carefully looking, I'm just glancing. I'm just rolling around glancing. Anyone see anything at the corner of their eye? No, right? I don't see anything. Yeah, we're just very screwed, aren't we? Probably should start looking somewhere that's right next to our base first, right? I mean, it could be inside the thing. It's not on the edge. That's the one on the right of the base. I don't see anything here, yeah. Damn it, nothing there. Like I said, it could be in the center of the glade and not on the edge. And you might not even know it. I would like to have a human, though. I mean, it, I think one of the games or maps that we played, it was like on the far edge of the... Oh, here we go. Alright. That one has it. All right, at least we know where the soil is. Nothing there. All right, so... All the little ones. We saw all the little ones, right? So the big one right there has it, guys. Right there. That is the direction we need to go. All right, unless this one has it. I don't see anything. Nope, I don't see anything out of the corners of my eye there. All right, well, that's fine. All right. Well, we know where to go, unless unless this one has it. Nope. Not. All right. Go ahead and do this. Oh my God, this is really bad. What do you think? Reroll or take it? The only thing I'd take was probably the left, right? It's the better fabric. Water skin, right? I mean, this map does get leather. We do have meat. The water, I mean, you know what? The left might not be bad. Hey, wild, wild dice or wild ice? Wild ice, right? Wild ice. I think the left might not be bad. I don't want to waste my rerolls on the first thing. So here's the thing, all right? You know, I take it out of the, out of the pool. That way you don't have to deal with it again, right? I don't know. Leather worker is good on Mars? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, right? Because you get leather right here. Right? Easy from the map. We get meat, we get the containers, and bam, we can make pickle goods, right? So I'm thinking the left is probably the best choice. Plus, I could just make leather or, or fabric, right? Two packs, rush caravans. Two star pack rush caravan. I don't know what you mean by rush caravan. What do you mean by rush caravan? Trading routes. Oh, well. So you're suggesting this one. I'm not a big trader. I mean, <laughs> if you've watched my stream enough, you know I'm not a big trader. I'm not a big trader. That's not my thing. <laughs> Wild Ice not on the stream? Mate, well, hey, it's not true. I actually have traded a couple of times before, right? 
right? We've we've done trade routes many times before. Hey, Stag Z. Yay! Thank you for that sub. Appreciate that. Yay. Thank you. Thank you there. Appreciate that. Stag Z. Alright, I'm gonna go with this rain collector here. And I'm gonna dump this house here. Alright. And we're gonna get... Right, let me go ahead and take this off. Take this off. Take that off. They can eat whatever they want. Mushrooms is fine with me. Alright, we're gonna get this field kitchen going. I don't know. It might be suicide trying to make the jerkies. Beaver time? Hey, technician, welcome back. Actually, no, not that side. I'm gonna go with carving that out, right? Beavers. Chat voted beavers only. I would have taken the bottom, honestly. Beaver lizards. I think beaver lizards would have been a better choice, guys. But no use in crying over the spilled milk there, right? What do we got here? Reinforced woodcutting? Yeah, I'll take it. I don't want to choose that yet until we get beavers. Or sorry, until we get the other group. Alright, come on. You gotta get me this going here. I'm committed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, let's see here. I need a fungal guide. I need a fungal guide. Give me a fungal guide. Yeah, see? <laughs> that one map that somebody pointed out that the... the park was on the outside? That's because I was playing on that frost... modifier. But yeah, it's a good thing somebody was paying attention and realizing that thing that I built was on the outside of my boundary. That was a huge mistake on my part. I think it's this guy, right? I think we said this guy was the one. Alright, I'm praying for foxes, lizards, harpies. Any of those three. Sorry, not harpies. Humans, right? Humans. Foxes. Definitely foxes. Humans. Foxes. Um... And lizards, right? I think in order of preference, I think I'm probably leaning towards foxes first. And then probably lizards. And then maybe humans. Since we know where the soil is, I think humans might not be... A well, the humans would still be good, right? Because they have a proc chance. And they eat porridge. So probably humans and foxes is probably my bet. I kind of prefer that. I mean, lizards in that combo could be okay, too, because then we'll have at least a jerky eater. All right, so foxes, lizards, beavers, because they're they're all pickle eaters, right? Pickle good eaters. I think that's not a terribly bad combo. Where we 
got here. Yeah, our wood's gonna be really bad, though. I can't favor anybody, right? I mean, we should be fine the first year, though. Oh, wait, no, we already have nine, so it's this one right here is first. Burp. Okay, right here is probably better. All right, what do we got here? Trader? Trade post, right? Trade post. Alright, let's stick that trade post in that corner then. Let's extend that road out a little bit more. I want that one high priority. Yeah, I, I think... Harpies is probably the bottom of my list. Why are you not working on this? Oh man. Help me. Hurry. What okay, sneak peek. What do we got here? Humans, lizards. Oh, okay, alright. At least it's not harpies, but I would have preferred foxes. Shit. Foxes would have been better, because then I would at least know where the... the geyser is, and I'd at least be able to solve events faster. Because the reason I'm saying is foxes... This is my first choice, is I need to break through this and solve it, so... Well, the question is, do I open that first and then take the human? Because I already know where the soil is, right? Because then that way, the humans don't give me the same spot that I already know. So I think I might have to open that first. Rush 3x woodcutters? Right now, I can't, can't do 3x woodcutters right now. I don't have enough to do, to do the... The rain collecting and also the porridge. Because I've also got one of these open. Alright, I'm going to put the, you in here. Hello. Hello. Oh, the left is actually not bad. Okay, I'll take the left. Alright, so. Question here is, should I pop that first before taking the humans? I mean, the... Let's see here, what are you selling me? You are selling oil. Oh, what is this? Uh, no, we don't have a kiln. We don't have a rain mill. That's not bad either. Oh, jeez. Do I buy that or do I buy... Well, I think I should buy that, right? I mean, plus two... That's not bad either. What do you guys think? Well, first of all, I don't want to spend my money just yet. Let's go ahead and pop this. Please be easy. Please, please be easy. 
Because then I won't have to, like, use a human to find the same thing that I already know. Okay, escape convicts, doable. Doable, we got our advanced rain collector, nice. Workshop, I, I can dig that. I can dig that. One, two, three, okay. So all I need now is a quest to give that says, open ruins. I want human first, right? Yeah, I want humans first. Plus that I'm going to need anyways. Yeah, I want the humans first. Wow, only two? What is this? We only got two. That's awful. Uh -huh. That's an amazing early glade? Yeah, it is. I know. That's why I'm thinking like, hey, if I get that quest that says three ruins solve, pop three glade, that would be amazing, right? Oh, shit. Well, I guess I guess the, right, the, the left is easy, right? It's not bad. I don't mind taking that. I get food, right? That's just minus eight. That's not terribly bad. Oh, I can I can live with that. Yeah. How are you? Let's do that now. Plus, I get five more showing up. All right, so what do we got here? Encampment, right? I think we have that. Yeah, we have that. All right, so that's an easy one. I'll take it. We have the farm, right? I'll take this. Is that plus one grain is good. Oh, beavers. Oh! Shit. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What is this going to do? I got I, I gotta turn this off, right? Let me cancel this. Okay, hang on. If I go down two floors, beavers need homes. Tool order finished when the first Order being turned in. Oh, I six tools. That's fifteen, right? That's ten. Oh. I mean, I could get the. Yeah, you're right. I could technically get this. Right off of the other one. I mean, I don't mind the one on the left. The problem is. The problem is how to how to get this guy. 22 right because I go down two notches no woodcutters that's four points up but that's not going to be enough what can this guy eat off this guy Hello. that's going to get me that and what Hello. did I buy tinker right okay so the tinker I build a tinker I put him in there I have some storm water I can give him a little boost, right? There's 10 of them, though. That's not going to get me a, a big boost. I might get, like, two points. Um, okay, so... 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 22 or 24. I think it's 22, right? Let's go with this. One thing at a time. Unless I can stick the mine in here somewhere. No, no mines. So I think we're going to have to rush the tinker. Um, 
pipes? I guess, uh... Roots? Okay. What do you guys think? Should I buy any of this or no for the farm? I mean, that would be amazing for the farm, right? So is the herb gar So is this. What do you think? Get the plus two for the... For the farm? Okay. The farm is looking like at nine, right? Because we're going to get in. Let's see here. The farm is going to be what? If I do the farm. It's already nine because of this. Plus another two. That's 11. Plus another one. That's going to be 12. We're going to be swimming off of just one. The garden. I don't have any water in this map. Oh, they gave me the near, near soil here. Wheat is very tempting. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Beaver. There's nothing here that's going to help me for the, the beavers, right? For beaver resolve. So the question here is... The wheat or the greenhouse and save that for later. If I find, a gr if I find drizzle water, the greenhouse is useful because I need the herbs. Right, because herbs is is needed for the biscuits. We have biscuit eaters on our team here. I think the greenhouse is the best choice, the most logical choice. The wheat is tempting though, right? Plus two. I won't have any grain issue for quite some time. Oh my god, these choices. I mean, the problem with this is I oh I have a rain collector, right? What am I thinking? I'll take that. I'll take it. Can I afford the AL2? Well, I can't afford I can't afford the this and this, but the AL maybe. If I sell enough of the parts. I can probably sell that too. I'm thinking here. Alright, well, first of all, I gotta figure out how to get the beavers up, right? He's not selling planks. Shit, he's not selling planks. Well, this one I need to get up ASAP, right? Here we go. One thing at a time. Once I finish that, it's 30 seconds. I can just jump back onto this. And I'll figure out what to do about that later. Yeah, I already I'm aware of the time order. I already took the time order. I already took the time order. I would have passed on the time order, take the tools, order left one. Oh, well it's kinda late now, but I I, I don't mind having that extra food. Alright, so 17 plus 4. That's 21, right? 21, yeah. I might not need this tinker right away, actually. I could probably get away with beavers in there, right? No, uh, let's see here. I'm just curious. Two points. Oh, you know what? I could probably get away with that. No, I can't. I still need one more point. I don't know if this is going to give me one point, though. Well, I guess, I guess if I crank up the water on the blue... The blue should work. It should be fine. Right? I need 22, right?
I mean, I could hold that off for like what? 30 seconds? I don't know. I hate that I... I hate that you don't rotate your house to make them fit more nicely. You mean like this? Like that? <laughs> All right, all right. Last call. Do you, what do you guys think? I don't think I need to buy the beer. I'm not into the beer. I don't think I'm into that beer. I don't think there's anything there that's gonna help me. Well, maybe, maybe pipes, right? Five pipes goes in there, right? And I wouldn't be able to install any other pipes. I need five pipes to recover the other thingy. I'll lose my my pipes for the next building that I I pick. I should take the pipes while I still can. I'm okay. Well, I'm going to come up with three, though. What's the next one? Should I look at the next one? Let's look at the next one. All right, I'll take that one on the left. I should sell two of these off, right? Hello. Oh, he's not selling. Oh, he's not. I mean, I do need to buy this. Because I think it's like five pipes to recover the building. Yeah, it's five pipes to recover the building. Am I getting parts? I'm getting three parts, right? And the two parts off of that one. I'm scared to look at that one because that might be another time order. <laughs> Alright, I'm not looking at that last one. I'm not looking at the last one. Okay, I should be able to be okay with that, right? Shit. 88? What can I what can I get off of this guy? Maybe oil? 79? Maybe two oil. What can I get rid of? 10, right? Two pieces of meat? Mm. How about two pieces of eggs? Alright, I'm okay with that, actually. Let's go with this. Alright, that I'm happy with. Let's do that. Commit. That's six, right? The six I needed. So I can actually do the do the blight post then, yeah. Okay, there we go. That's I'm committed to that. I'm okay with that. There we go. Now thirty seconds and then we're good. Then we get roots per minute. I'm happy with that. Boing, 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 boing. You know, this actually gave us one point. <laughs> so that's really nice. Bam. I didn't even have to crank up the water on the other one. Take this off. Now we deal with these guys, right? Now the question is, do I want the 0.75 or I want this freebie here because I'm not, I'm okay with this because this will jumpstart our food situation. Right? I'm okay with that. And save the tools for something else. I mean, the, well, the one on the right gets me money to keep going, right? But I think the the value on the left is useful. If I ever get like a well, that root is kind of useless though. If I get like an herb garden somehow, but that mm, yeah, I mean this is kind of useless. The question is, are these here worth the twenty? 
Because I could just go this way, right? I'll turn this in. And move on. Let's see what you got. Right, I'm going to go with this one. Left is good? You think left is good? Well, why would left be good? T give me give me a real good reason why left would be good. I mean, that's a nice jump start, but I might not need it. I mean, the only thing I could possibly think of is doing empathy, and I end up getting a cornerstone that says empty. Calm, uh, calming of the forest, minus 40, right? Food security, you have amber already? Well, I, only, I have five. Five to open something. I mean, I only need one thing, right? Which is green water. But I don't know where the green water is. I'd have to, like, get Mist Piercer or something, or Ancient Pact. 0.75. Well, I guess I'll take the good left. Because we might actually get Empathy as an order. And minus 40 is actually better than minus 10, right? Alright, we'll, we'll go with the left. What is this? How many minutes? What were you talking about? Two, six, seven, six, seven, eight, six, twenty-seven. Okay, if they, that's if they rush to it right away with no coffee breaks. We might get a little bit that of that during the storm. My reason would be that left doesn't cost fifteen tools. Okay, yeah. All right, let's do this. That's fine. That's a good idea. Left doesn't cost fifty tools. Because 15 tools does translate. You're basically paying the tool for this and this, right? I, I get the logic. That's a very good logic. Alright, so. We're going to get 23 seconds of this during the storm. 22 seconds. We should be able to, we should be able to endure that. Um, I should be fine. I need to get a warehouse over here somewhere. Dang, all this is like nuts, huh? in here. Do I want it on that side or this side? Well, that freaking chest is in the way. Yeah, which direction is this? All right, let's go with that one. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, let's get some of this back. Because then I could actually use that. Okay. That was kind of stink, though. How all of this is kind of in a maze over there. And then herbalist left to get food. Looks like we're gonna we've got amazing RNG with this glade. <laughs> you think it's amazing RNG? I mean, I would have preferred something else. That's not really that amazing. Somebody might be like, oh my god, this guy's getting amazing RNG. I don't think that's amazing. I mean, this is this is a dud here, unless I can get, like, an herb garden. Right, to get the roots. Not that I want an herb garden, but I don't know. Just saying. All right, I'm not going to solve any of this because we might actually get a order for the ruins. So I don't want to mess with that. All right, let's go ahead and get that up and running. And then we we want this up and running, right? 
deliver order. No, it's automatic. It's automatic. So yeah, for those who don't know, to make it automatic, you gotta turn it on. Right? Don't forget to turn it on. So if you if you if you're ever in doubt or scared, right, just make sure this is enabled first. Auto complete timed order, right? Um So I, I always wait till the last minute just so that I can milk the the queen's impatience because if it auto turns it if it turns in if you turn it in early the only reason i turn the other one early thank you for that follow by the way drake so the only reason i turned this one in early was because i wanted this roots per minute to kick in as soon as possible i didn't want to wait out the two minutes right or two minutes and a half whatever it is that's the only reason i turned this one in early all right so I'm going to go with the left, guys, because we have lizards, and lizards can proc that. Yeah, so we'll go with the left. Alright, we don't have foxes. We already have... Whatever the hell... What is that? Tinker, right? We have the tinker already. I don't know, though. Left or right? Well, I, I guess the one on the right lets me make bars, right? To funnel into the tools. So I'm gonna go with the right. Ooh, the stamping mill makes flowers, right? I'm gonna go with the one on the right. And it makes pottery. Oh, well. And, well, I mean, it also makes copper bars, right? Because this map does require... Well, first of all, I need a... Save my coppers, right? Because of this. Uh, I saw in some of your other runs that you were able to keep hostility pretty low, even through year 10. What are your main ways of reducing it? Okay, in that video that was able to keep it pretty low through year 10, did I have a uh, Altar of Decay where I killed people off? Because usually, like, the Altar of Decay gives you like minus 25 for the for the dead people that you kill off like if you remember the video or the vod l link it to me and, t and i'll tell you what it is but yeah thank you for for asking that question drake drake uh drake Saras. if you if you tell me what bot it is and which run it was i will actually tell you specifically what what caused the hostility to be really low I think it was probably, yeah, so if I had the Altar of Decay, that means I killed people off. Altar of Decay gives you minus 25 hostility for every dead villager retroactive. So even if I kill off people now and then I find it later, I'm going to want to grab it, right? Because then the Altar of Decay will immediately kick in. I'm unfamiliar with the event because I haven't played it for a few updates. Yeah, Altar of Decay is pretty new. Like, it was, it was added during the new... One of the uh, world modifier events or something. Um, but yeah, Al Altar of Decay was the one that got my hostility really low. There was like a... I'm sure like there's a video out there where I've got my hostility down to like zero. And I'm at, I'm at like year 12. When you say you kill off, do you mash sacrifice at the altar? Well, I mean... It, I, I will either sacrifice them at the altar, or I will not pay to open a glade. So I, I'll get rid of all my money, I'll spend it, and then open glades, and then they all die. They It includes people li leaving as well. So when they leave, or when they die, it doesn't matter. The altar of decay um, will work for both scenarios. Now, the petrified necropolis requires people to die to actually get the stones so in another run i think it was in the coral force run i actually figured it out that i was like why am i not getting stones right on the ne the petrified ne necropolis it actually says they have to die for you to benefit uh and then there's the yeah then there's the don't do any do do use any uh blight rot fighters right blight post fighters you can easily kill off three people that way or you can use the the altar or you know just just uh, disable just di disable food consumption for a group or whatever it is and then you can probably kill people off that way but that's not as controlled though it's very risky if you disable food cons consumption 
right? Because then that way, you, you don't have a full control over who dies. But, because you, you want certain controls, right? The altar, at least you can say, like, I want two people or three people, depending on your choice. Or if the blight post is three, right? Or when people leave, it's two. So keep that in mind, right? Or you let them sort of spin their wheel during the storm, right? And then just uh, let one leave and then then reactivate the uh, the beavers as ne or deactivate the beavers as necessary, right? I was mostly wondering if letting them leave had the same effect. Yes, it does have the same effect. On the Altar of Decay. So I, I answered your question, actually. Um, prior to that. Alright, so... Yeah, so, okay, so if you're wondering why I'm not trying to salvage this to get the benefit of this... And this, it's because I'm waiting on these things here. Because it might say, I might get a quest that says, you know, recover three ruins. It's a time order. Recover three ruins and open three glades. And that's a really nice time order to have. And I might get that. I might not. But I'm planning ahead. There's no guarantee that I'll have it. Is what I'm saying. Wow, these guys are actually cranking out all this food. How amazing is that? How how am I how am I doing so well? I'm gonna keep that. I might need that the roots. Well, the roots are coming in per minute, right? Actually, no. Hang on. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one. Uh, what do you think changes most gameplay-wise from low to high prestige? Um, what do you mean by that question? What do you think changes most gameplay-wise from low to high prestige? What do you think changes most gameplay from low to high? Um, Alright, so the gameplay changed, right? I think with, high, with the prestige... This actually, the gameplay changes significantly. You always have to like buy, uh, you always have to pay to open glades. That's the most significant part here. Um, I think the other one is this hunger hunger stack and this hunger stack over here. All right, this one and this one. It gets really difficult on the high the high uh, prestige because of hunger, and a lot of people, a lot of people struggle with food. Um, on the high prestige and that's one of the things that you want to also keep keep an eye on and i think the blight post right that you have to get right because that every three years you have to worry about that i don't know what else is the uh the working speed right the top that's really difficult too on the lower difficulty solving events is going to be easy but on the higher difficulty you got to factor in 30% longer work speed on the events. So this is the other big thing, right? And so what what I do is the gameplay. Yeah, so I see your rain collector field kits. Right. So I always do this early and this early because I want to stretch my food out. Right? Because this will proc. Has a chance to proc. And it also produces really fast. Right? By, by 50%. So if I can stretch out my food, an extra two units, and a chance to proc, that's very important, right? And, and especially early on, uh, having this field kitchen, right? You can make porridge out of the gate. Otherwise, if you're playing on low difficulty, you might not get that complex food early, right? There's this guy on the forum. He's, he's always talking about how he's having issues with complex food or his village is always starving or whatever. I don't know if he pops the, the rain collector down as quickly as possible or not, right? Because I always do. If you've noticed all my strategies, I've just dropped this down, boom, collect the green water, get this running as soon as possible so that I can actually turn out, like, you know, um, the jerkies, right? Because it has a chance to proc. If it procs, then you've, you've doubled your food that you brought along, right? And then turning this into food really helps a lot, especially if, if it comes with grain 
as a caravan thing, right? Because you can kind of see now, I've, I've, I don't have food problem anymore, and I didn't even farm yet, right? I didn't even do any farming. I didn't even, like, you know, loot this or this. And I just started cranking out my food already. You saw that, right? So that, that was from the original vegetables that came with the, the caravan. And then also the marshlands, yeah, the marshlands have, like, 15% chance of mushrooms. Right, yeah, right now I'm not even using the soil. So you could technically get away with the mushrooms if you convert it to porridge. It stretches your food out a little bit, right? So yeah, so if you've seen my strategies, right, this... I always do this now, right? That's just the thing that I feel like it, it always works for me. Now, if you've watched some of my older videos, you'll see that I actually don't always bring the farm. I, I, I used to just bring in like six building materials or six points building materials and then two two food items to stretch my food out. Hey, thank you for that follow there, Pinzu17. Turns herbs and grains into food. Yeah, the porridge recipe of the field kitchen is great. Yep. Well, this is only recent. This is only recent. But before, I always... Okay, so before, I was always doing this. And if you watch, like, a lot of my older videos, I would always try to aim for getting meat. Right? And, I, and, I'll, and because I always get lizards, it helps, right, to move the bar quickly. I should probably start getting these mushrooms, right? The guy's building my road, so I don't want to disturb that. Alright, I guess I need another one of these. Hang on, can I get a human house in? I guess I could get a human house, huh? But I really don't need a human house. I'll just get this out of the way then. I'll just get that one out of the way. I don't need that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm busy talking. Oh shit. <laughs> I need this. How do I lose my... How do I lose my bricks? Oh... Wait a minute, what, wait a minute, where'd my bricks go? Oh, oh, it's because of this. There we go, I was like, I knew I had bricks. 90%. Alright, I gotta make sure the water doesn't go any higher. Than this, I can't, I can't take four, I can take nine, three, three is fine, right? I gotta make sure this blight rot bar doesn't go up one more. You have stones in the glades? Yeah, I do have stones in the glade. The reason I, I had to destroy that was because I needed this blight post up and running. So I can get rid of this so that doesn't carry over to the next year. Because the next year I'm going to get three plus whatever chump change that this guy offers. Alright, hang on. We're gonna endure the 12 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 12 spy seconds, right? Oh, we just got a new group of people showing up. Oh, no! We just got people showing up all of a sudden. Oh shit. Oh shit, I gotta get off the two. I think we're gonna have to lose people. I think we're gonna- I'm gonna kill off the beavers, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Cause then we'll go down a notch, right? But that's not gonna be enough. Um, I need to get that open up and running, right? Alright, I'm okay with losing one beaver. Two beavers, maybe even. The lizard. I think the lizard just needs a house. That's all it is.
No, no, no. Lizards are fine now, right? Because they just ate the four food. Okay, okay. Lizards are okay. Beavers, not so much. But I can probably put the beavers... ...in this. There we go. Alright, we're good, actually. I don't have to kill off anybody today. No beavers are dying today. Do you think on death, departure, cornerstones are generally better at higher prestige? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm so kind. <laughs> Killer whale. I'm so kind. Saving the beavers. Beavers are not dying today. Not on my watch. Which means the humans are available. Chop wood. Yep, humans are available to chop wood. Cause I don't wanna- Oh wait, wait! Rotting! Oh god, no. Damn it. Humans are not available to chop wood because of this rotting wood thing. <sighs> humans, humans, humans. Okay, nobody cares about beavers if the impatience of a, of a certain authority figure we're worried about. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I don't... Well, do I need you to do that last porridge? I don't need you to do the last porridge. You're fine. Oh, you know what? I probably could have gotten that last porridge, huh? I just realized that. Okay. I probably could have gotten that last porridge. Yeah, I probably could have gotten that last porridge. Alright, we don't need... I'm gonna put you in here, actually. I don't need that worry about that anymore. Alright, we don't need the beavers to worry anymore, but, but I can't chop trees. I can't chop trees during the storm. Let's see if I can... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I can put beavers on this. Get some of that going at least. Okay. What do we what do we want here? Stamping mill, right? I'm thinking the stamping mill. You get flowers, right? I think the stamping mill is probably the best choice. I'm gonna commit to this. Forgot we actually had to take five people in. All right, well, you guys are just gonna have to wait. We've already got 18 people here. Eighteen out of four. How how does this say eighteen out of four? Apparently I have eighteen homes out of four. Fourteen oh okay, eighteen out oh yeah, yeah, the minimum requirement. God, I'm blanking out. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blanking out. That's stupid. I know what the, I know what that means. I'll wait. I'll wait a, bit, a little bit. YOLO. Hey, Shamo. What's going on? Yo, yo, yo. I guess I don't need this anymore, right? Yeah, we don't need that anymore. I just can't. I just can't chop anything during the storm. That's the only thing. I can't chop anything during the storm. Oh Alright, hang 
around. Can I get a warehouse back here? No. Wow, these beavers are still working on that, huh? Why are they still hanging out there? Oh, there's probably roots stuck in there. Alright, so loyalty. That'll be the chest, right? I'll take that, I guess. It's not great, but... Not great. Slightly better than nothing. Alright, what do we got here? Use of blue water, right? I'm gonna take the blue water. Oh, no! No. No. What do you guys think? We, I've done this before already. I actually won before, but I don't know if... I don't know if I should do this again today. That's not a good idea. I don't want to lose my winning streak. One. Two. Three. One, two, I don't know, I don't think so. I'm, I'm looking around to see if that's feasible. One, two, maybe three, four, okay, one again, one, two, one, two, three, maybe four, or that, or maybe, hmm. Trailblazing, it's slow, but a, but for sure turn in. Yeah, I mean, that one I think is probably a guarantee, because I, as long as I have this, I just plop, pop six and I get it, right? I mean, that's the last thing I turn in. This, I'm going to probably stress out trying to do. I mean, this one is not bad either, right? Because I think I get the biscuits. This pack thing is not really that great, but I get barrels. One on the left, I don't know about because popping six glaze is. That's like what? If I pop ten little. six little ones, right? That's like what? 60 points? Hostility? Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Left or middle? I don't think the right is doable, honestly. I, I, I should play it safe this time. I've done this so many times on stream that I actually have successfully gotten that before, but I'm just not feeling it today. I don't think it's going to work. And and yesterday I missed that one time order by by 1 second. I was really mad that I missed that out. L What's L? L is left, right? Everyone's saying left. Left. Left or middle is the question here. Not not the right. Everyone's thinking left, right? To the left? Okay, let's go with left then. That's decent, I guess. Pickle goods is nice. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, if I pop little ones, then that could be fine, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So there's two here, right? So there's enough little ones to make that one work. Now, I don't think I'm going to get a rune order anymore in this, right? I don't think there's runes, three runes, orders on I think the three runes was on this one. Do you know, do you, does anyone remember if the rune order is on this one or no? Do I want to wait 12 minutes to do this? That's the question. I mean, I don't really need any of this, right? Right away. I mean, the workshop could be useful. Oh, okay, so there's a there's a potential time order uh, where you uh, I think it's I can't remember the name of the the name of the ruins, but it's basically says pop three for an open ruins, right? Uh, uh, salvage or rebuild the uh, the ruins. Which are these buildings here. These are the ruins. Right? This is a ruin right here, and this is a ruin right here, and this is a ruin right here, right? So I can 
recover these three and complete the time order. Usually that time order is really hard to do because it it requires me to pop almost three glades. Right? To to complete. And if you pop one that doesn't have any, you gotta keep going. That's that's the reason I lost uh my win streak on um on Friday last week. I was like 80 plus win streak and then I took on that time order where it says pop uh complete three ruins um and I failed. I think it might be on this one here. I can't remember. You have to like go back to the Friday's VOD. It's the ancient battlegrounds one. It's the second to the last town that I did. And I have to like recall that trying to figure out like which time order it was on. I can't remember if it was on this one or it was on this one. So if anyone knows offhand, please do share. Let me know. I am curious. Um. Oh, but I... Oh, yeah, well, it's only a lizard, right? It's only one lizard. That movement doesn't make a difference. What are we at here? We're at 18 people. What do you have to offer me? Nothing good. There's nothing I want off of this lady. Alright, that's fine. I mean, I could solve this, and then that gets me 25, right? That pops at least five glades. Come on, why are you doing that one? I thought I did, yeah. Silly, silly, silly. I got the garden down, right? No, I do not have the garden down. All right, what do we got here? Get all that wood cutting going. How's my wood situation? It's looking pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna build another one then. And get more beavers to help out. Hostility for popping glades get nerfed recently? No, it didn't get nerfed. It's 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 small glades are ten, large glades are thirty. It's still the same. Multiplier of three on host uh on prestige. I mean, it's slightly nerfed in the sense that if you have foxes, foxes benefit with the minus six per glade. Foxes OP, yeah, the foxes are definitely OP. Huh. There's already people <laughs> wanting foxes to get nerfed. I do not believe foxes should be nerfed. I think foxes are great. Just as is. Oh, I need two, right? Need two to begin with. Okay, well. Alright, I guess I'll make the first two. Three, right? I need three. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, you know what? I don't, right? I don't. I'll probably just do it off this guy. I can probably remove that guy, right? Alright, I'm gonna wait until the, the clearance is over first. I can always salvage this, get my three fabric back. Alright, and then we'll build a leather worker next. 
from that. At least no real production bonus for them. Yeah, no, well, yeah, no real production bonus. They, they're really good at solving the, the events, though. And they're really good at ignoring the hostility of the forest, so you can actually use them to level up pretty quickly. What are we looking at? Blue and yellow? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Eh, I'll leave it there. That's fine. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I gotta move it. We got a greenhouse, too. I just don't have any place to put that greenhouse. Or, I mean... Not yet. Well, okay, I do have a place to put it. I'm just trying to figure out, like, where am I get like, my supply of green water for it. Okay, what we really need right now is the fungal guide. What are you bringing me? Pipes? Ooh, left is not bad, right? Yeah, left is not terribly bad. Well... I think the one on the right might be better. But I can always make that. Yeah, I think the one on the right's better, because like... That way I get lizards and not beavers. We already have way too many beavers. Beavers are cramping my style right now. 18? If I take this, this is 3, 4, right? If I take it now or later? Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'll take it now, I guess. That's fine. Um, Wanda, right? Where's my other one? Rain collector. Warlords. Yeah. I need homes. And fast. And fast. Shoot. Yep, I need it really fast. Come on. I need to get a second hearth up. Okay, right there is not terribly bad. Alright, that's not bad, right? Yeah. Pretty good, decent spot. Oh, but that requires the bricks that we don't have. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh god, we need more wood. We definitely need wood. Badly. 14. Oh, you gotta get you in position. There you go. Okay, so... Hostility reduction. It's not gonna make a difference. Alright. 
Well, I'll leave it. All right. Until it goes down. Yeah, I already know. I already. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Rotten wood. You're right. You're right. Yep. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Rotten wood. Definitely right. Let me go ahead and turn this off. We're gonna get this leather worker. run in here. Do I have enough pipes? I've got 11 around. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Beavers, come on. Get it together. Get it together, man. Alright, so the f small farm has done their part. And then... Yeah, alright, we're fine. And what else? Pack of crops, right? Do I have a building that makes pack of crops? The worker, right? No, I don't have any buildings that make pack of crops. Damn, stupid rotting rain thing. It's killing me. Killing me. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. How much wood do I have? Oh my god, I got nothing for wood. Kill me, kill me. I think we're gonna have to use that, right? I think our coal's gonna run out. I need to get a coal mine, guys. I need some building that gives me something for for fuel. Yeah. It's, uh, how, many, how many do I need? I probably just need 16. That's good enough, right? Another woodcutter. I can't do wood cutting right now. I gotta do wood cutting during the other storm. Or dirt outside the storm because of this. Oh. What do you guys think? Harvesting is 25% slower? But that doesn't affect the greenhouse. Uh, buildings using fertile soil produces 50% more goods, right? I think I should probably just go with the... I mean, I should do this, right? At least I can get plus one to my wood cutting. Wood cutting is really bad right now. I'm gonna go with this. Man, I need to get lizards somewhere here. And I need to get this warehouse back in business. Oh, oh boy, I need to get that too, don't I? Oh man. I got nothing. Oh, 
forage, right? Yeah, we don't need to worry about the forage. All right, well, hmm. I guess I turn in this, right? Get that plus one. At least they'll work on that plus one. Pack of crops and then some of that, right? That's not too bad. I don't think I have a building that does it. Hey, Gyps, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I need to get homes up and running. I need to kill off my beaver somehow. These guys are kind of annoying me. What do you need? You need three, right? It's the bricks that's killing me right now. Hello. Hello. What do you got for me? Yeah, it's the bricks that's killing me. All right. I will let you have it. That's fine. I was saving it for the stamping mill. Hmm. Nah, I'll wait on the stones. Five wood, right? It's only five wood. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up. Alright, what do we got here? That requires 18, right? We actually have enough people for that. But... I think this is the safer bet. I'm gonna go with the right. Yeah, I don't know guys. I, th I think this is the safer route. All right, so now that we don't have that runes time order thing anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. I need one, how many parts? Three, right? Dang. I need three. I don't know where I'm gonna get three. I mean, I can get rid of that one, right? To get to switch over to this one, that's a hundred one. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still better. It's cheaper too. Yeah, it's actually cheaper too. Oh, come on, lizards. Oh, the jerky ran out. The jerkies. Dang. Looking bad. This one is what? Hail? Oh, okay. Make scrolls or... Yeah, what, this one, right? I need this one to get... Oh, God. Hmm. Alright, can I get you running? Yeah, I can. Alright, that's fine. Oh, what are you missing? What are you missing? Oh, it's not. Is it bricks? It's probably bricks, isn't it? Because they gave the bricks to the other guy. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it gave bricks to the other guy. Shoot, where can I get bricks back? Where can I get bricks back? I guess the oh, I gotta do that one again. Um, sure. Try it again. 
so I can get bricks. And I need to install it on this one right as soon as I'm done. I need that warehouse back up and running ASAP. Otherwise, that's a long trip back and forth. Yeah, that's a really bad gamble on my part. That's a very bad gamble on my part. Oh my goodness. That's a long trip back and forth. Yep, very, very bad trip. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on. What? Seriously? God. Seriously, I thought I had enough. I thought I had enough. I had 11. Where'd they all go? Jesus Christ. Alright, well. Four, right? the blight too okay herbalist deposits done okay. all right well what do you got for me let's take this off so I can stop using the water How is that? That's not generating anything, right? Okay, that should be fine for now, right? Tinker's not using anything. Come on. Alright, so that's fine. Light post needs five. All right, so we gotta generate. Oh shit! How much fuel do I have? Wait, what? Why is that? Oh, oh god! Damn it! The lightning storm. Shit. God damn it. I should have gotten off of that earlier. I sh I sh oh my god. Dumb lightning storm. Which one is this? At least it's not bad, right? It's not terribly bad. Hello chat. Hey Fima, what's going on? Yeah, so what happened was this lightning storm, I didn't have copper, so it actually broke three of my buildings. And I got ten. Oh, come on! How'd I get ten? Oh, because I was on four. Oh. What? 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 You gotta be kidding me. That's why we re recently enjoy watching, not playing ATS. Oh my god. I didn't do the giveaway yet. I'm so mad. I'm so mad it was at four and I forgot to turn it off. We're gonna lose people on this one. 
I think this is gonna have to be a save scum, guys. This has to be a save scum. Yeah, I'm save scumming this one. Let's see if I can get that one. That's a- oh my goodness. That is terrible. That is just terrible. Did not pay attention to that one. Hopefully that is not save scumming at the beginning of the storm. We'll see. All right, it's not bad. It's the beginning of the, the clearance season. Okay. The hostility four. Why don't you progress when losing? I normally do. I normally do. But that last one is I. I just don't think that was gonna be be feasible. That's that's the something that was on my part, not paying attention. I could have solved. I could have fixed that one easily. That was my fault completely. All right, let's finish this. I gotta get off of the the timer on this one, right? I gotta get the other warehouse back. All right, hang on. That's fine. We don't need this guy here. We throw him in here. So so mad about that. Totally preventable. Totally preventable. Or that one I'm not gonna do, right? Yeah, I'm leaving that one there. I think that requires... No, I, yeah, we can leave that there. Woodcutters. Fine. I just gotta pay attention to that. Let's speed this up. I think it's better to probably process the bricks first than installing the pipes. Yeah, I think it's better to install that first. And then we'll do the pipes last. Because then I gotta get this blight post back before the storm. Five years. I don't need these rain collectors. And I need to get the warehouse back, right? Oh, come on. Right, this one is not terribly bad. Two is not bad. Hang on, where's my food situation? Probably don't need to worry about this kitchen, right? Okay. Pretty sure we got this. I'm still up, Freedom? Yeah, I'm still up. I still got to do my giveaway, too, by the way. Oh, shh. Oh, I did it again! I did it again! <sighs> Why didn't it pause? Or did I unpause? I unpaused! Why did I unpause? Why did I unpause? What? I unpaused, didn't I? Oh, my reflexes! Stupid reflexes on my keyboard. God damn it. Again. Again. Damn it. Second time in a row. Oh my god. Alright, did it auto I only get auto saved on this on the beginning of the storm, right? If it auto saved the beginning of the storm, then that's fine, right? If it didn't auto save the beginning of the I was wondering, you rarely hold your alt button. Are you good at remembering where your people are? I press hold at alt, alt all the time. No, it's actually not my alt key. It's actually my my tap, my um, my tilde key. All right, one more time. God damn it. Do not unpause. Do not unpause. My thumb there is reflex. Oh God. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All 
All right, back again. Jesus Christ. On the tilde key, I got moved. Move button. Now I remapped it to the to the tilde key. I'll show you. The tilde key. It's actually the tilde key here, right here, right? Work or worker overlay. It's the tilde key, but it's the tilde right. It's it's actually the key right above the the uh, exclamation or the uh, the backslash backslash, not backslash back back quote the back quote and the tilde key. It's the one right above the the tab. I re removed it from my tilde. Okay, all right. I gotta remember not to hit the thumb key during the storm. I always do that. Remapped. Keep, let's move this faster. Do not hit the thumb key. Do not hit the thumb key. All right, let's speed this up. Uh, okay, I'm already speeding up, right? right? Let's turn this off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Load the lizards. Space bar. God, I'm getting tired. Do not hit the space bar. Second time in a row I did that. Do not hit the space bar. It's on auto pause too, right? The whole point of auto pausing is supposed to like give you time to to make your adjustments. Oh my goodness. Do not hit the pause key. Just imagine how awful that is if I did that with a Queen's impatient bar. Here it comes. Do not hit the Do not hit the pause button. Do not hit pause button, right? It should be auto pause, right? Yeah, it's auto pause. Okay, there we go. There we go. Jesus Christ. All right. So we got all of that, right? Everyone's fine. Now we we're fine on the blight post, right? Now let's switch over to this. There we go. Alright, now what do I do about this? Let's see here. Beavers. And lizards. You probably put be lizard on that one, right? And then lizard goes into this slot and then we're fine. Where are my all four lizards? One on the hearth? Oh god. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait it. Wait it out. They should be fine. Oh, oh, oh! Oh god. <laughs> In the meantime, I should take care of that. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, there. Everyone's happy again. All right, disaster avoided. And the hotkey is not important. Was asking why you do not use it a lot. How do you remember where your people are at most of the time? Oh, I remember that in my head. I it's it's in my head. Now I actually know this where they're at. So if you don't see me using it a lot of the times, it's because I know it. Unless I unless you hear me go, where are my so and so, right? And I'll I'll be walking around, moving around the screen and hunting for it, and then I'll hit the tilde key. I do use it once in a while. You just probably don't see me using it. Or I'll, I'll mostly click on this, right, to get to it. 
Um, but we should be fine now, right? So that's there. That's there. That's there. I don't need this anymore, right? We can probably remove this now. Which is better, this one, right? And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can get my greenhouse in here. There we go. Uh, it's like most used key besides... It's like my most used keys besides I use it to swap people from building to building as well without entering buildings menu screen. Yeah, I do that too. Like, I've done that. If you've watched some of my VODs, you'll see me like click on these things and move them around. It's just a matter of reflexes. Memory muscles. Alright, that's fine. You should be fine, right? And I should probably throw you in here for the water. I don't need to solve that one, right? So that is bricks. I need another four. Alright, what else? I think that's it, right? What else do I need? Alchemist hut, right? That gets me my bars. That I can do tools, right? Got tools. Okay, I'm gonna wait on the tools because we might get a cornerstone that does the uh, hostility reduction on the tools. And I need to get people on that side, right? Hey, lizard. Lizard homes. Okay, yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking here. I guess I can put stuff on the along the back, right? Well, let's go with this. That's fine. I prefer that. There. That should be fine. Alright. I'm okay with that. Mushrooms, right? All right, and then what do you need? You need your okay. Okay, that might be suicide there to use all my wood. Okay. All right, so two lizard homes over there. And I need a harp or a human home, right? Two human homes are on the sun. And then I need a park over here. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Resolve villagers need fulfilled by 20%. Leisure, right? No. Trade routes are worth one more. Hmm. Do I need a trade? Hang on. Oh god. I'm thinking here. What do you think? Will I get 22 humans? Hmm. I don't think I'm ever gonna get 22 humans. I think I'm more likely to finish the one on the right. I mean, I don't have to choose right away, right? So that's not an issue. I need to figure out how to get this and this. And that's yellow water, right? The tinker water is not going anywhere. I don't think I'm going to trade, so I'll go ahead and re-roll this. Bed and breakfast is nice. I'll take that. Oh, man. Okay, three is coming, right? I can get rid of two of these. How much is two worth? That's not worth a whole lot. 1.25? That's like, what, two coins? Ugh. Two coins. We're gonna get bars. That's not a problem, right? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. 
So I'm gonna get crops. Get these pack of crops first. How many? I need 10. I need 10 of these. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. And then it's 8 comfort, which is this. Or 12, right? 12. Wait, wait. 12 comfort is this. So that's going to be 4 for the comfort. Comfort is the, the park. And pack of crops again. So I need a total of 20, actually. Or, yeah, 30, 30. 20 off of this, but that'll finish first. Well, you know, maybe I should finish that one first, right? Because that actually benefits this. And then I gotta open the six. So that one I gotta figure out how to do, right? So let's see here. So one, two, three, four, five. Technically six. I can probably do six off of this. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on my own. Kind of a lot. Oh, I gotta start chopping again. Totally forgot about the chopping. Because I can't chop during the storm. Um, 21 there. I need to move four over there. Do I take more people now? I don't want beavers. God, there's so many beavers. There's so many beavers. What do I do about this? Three, four, four, left or right. If I want to go with the right, I get more humans. But I get more beavers. If I go with the left, I get more lizards. That helps my bar move a little bit. I get one beaver to, to sort of figure out. I need to kill off a beaver. Huh. I need to kill off a beaver. Alright, I'll go with the left. So we can move this bar faster. Really need to kill off a beaver. Oh, come on. Why don't I want beavers? They're pretty useless right now. They're they're right now dead weight for me. They're extremely dead weight. Like I can't move them because I gotta have biscuits. I gotta have pickled goods, right? I can't do any of this stuff. And plus, right on this particular map. How am I going to get enough planks for all their housing? Like, tell me, where am I going to get all the planks for their housing, right? It's just not happening on this map. This map is the worst for having too many beavers. Having a few is okay for this map. Because then you can get, like, you know, a decent amount of wood there going. But it's not enough to, like, support 15, right? Especially off of this. Five to two. A lumber mill might be okay. But yeah, beavers do kind of stink. Alright, well, hmm. You gotta figure out something about the harmony, right? 20 harmonies. All right, so 20 harmonies. I need 40 of each, right? So I don't have 40 of each. Maybe 4x woodcutters? Well, okay, so the problem with this map is... I wish I could zoom out more to show you. It's small. Right? It's very small. Well, it doesn't actually tell you the size of the map on this. Right? And the wood itself, you don't get a whole lot. See how, like, small this map is versus, like, the other one? And then the amount of wood that I get is pretty bad. That's the reason why I got that one thing, right? Oh, no. Did I get it on this one or the other map? 
Did I get it on this one or the other map? Here we go. That's the reason why I got this one, right? Rudy Grounds. Just to try to get a little bit more wood. Is that, is that affected? Yeah, that is affected. That's not affected on this, right? No, okay. I might need to add in extra workers. Or that. Just to offset the planting and harvesting. It might be, it might, three might be okay. We'll see. It might, the 25% might not matter. Nope, don't want to tilt it. Oh, actually I can tilt it, you're right. The, the lizards are fine. I can actually tilt that. All right, so now we've got eight on that side. We got 21 on this side, which is fine. I need to get a service building, right? All right, let's get the stamping mill up and running. So that way I can start getting this. And then we can get some biscuits going for the beavers, at least to be happy, right? All right. That's fine. We're totally being carried by lizards right now. You know, these guys have not given us any threshold movements. How did you open that menu? Which menu? To see common resources on the map. Which menu? Which menu are you talking about? This? Or, or this? This is escape key. To see all this. This, this is the escape key. You, you should, this one is, everyone should know this, right? This is just escape. Maybe cut small to get the large field tree. The large field tree. Cut, cut small to the large field tree. Which large field tree are you talking about? Oh, okay. I was looking for that a lot. Uh, wild ice. What? What's your question? Cut small to what? Cut small to what? Field tree? What? I don't, I'm not following you. What I need to do is also add in my wood, my warehouse over here. That way that can move faster. Uh, okay, I gotta get off of this, don't I? Hang on, hang on. It is affecting my lizards. What's your question? What's your question? I got it. Okay, I got to make sure this next phase I also don't hit the hit the tab key. And I got to find I got to find copper somehow to avoid this lightning. Oh, I think I took on people, right? That's that's why that Okay, yeah, I took on people. Here. God, I need more wood. I definitely need more wood. I'm running out of wood. Or planks, right? Planks. Small lawn to open large forests? You mean large glade, right? I'm not ready to open a large glade right now. I don't need to. I mean, there, is there a reason to right now? I don't think there is. I think I need food, right? Oh, God. Yeah, I need food. The hunger is real. Yep, the hunger is real. Do not hit the space bar. I, oh my goodness. Do not hit the space bar. 
Do not hit the space bar. Do not hit the space bar. Okay, I wish we had force guardians here. Do not hit the space bars. Alright, we got off of this one. We get off of that one, right? Because otherwise we're getting this one. Do not turn anything in during the storm. Okay. I'm gonna move the bar at least some, but it's not changing the rep on the on the guy. Yeah, the problem with this is I'm not. Hang on. This is going to tilt, isn't it? It's going to tilt. It's going to tilt. And I need it to tilt. There we go. Alright, so I take that off. You're okay with that. Done. Yeah, the reason I did that was because this right here, no contact. Gaining reputation during uh, during the storm doesn't lower impatience. So for me to drop the impatience bar, I had to get off the two. So that's why I did that little fuel thing early. Because I needed the, the little jiggle there. Oh... Well, shit. Tavern or kiln? I think it's gonna have to be the, the kiln, right, guys? As much as I want the tavern, I think we're gonna need the kiln. The fuel here is, is really bad. Yeah, I think the kiln is the one that makes the most sense here, guys. Then we can also do jerkies too. Oh my god, thank god for the kiln, right? Take this off. Take you guys off. You're just being there for seat warming for now. That needs to be made ASAP. Oh my god, that's I think that's a lifesaver right there. Alright. What are you? You're eight, right? What are you? You're twenty-one. I need to move six people onto this side. Right, I need six people to go over there. One. Wait, is that? I think, yeah, that's, that's fine. And then I need a human, or beaver home, right? Beaver home. All right, hang on. All right, we're gonna remove you. Put you over here. Leave you on there. Tinker, we don't need to worry about the tinker. We do want flour. Ramadan, Ramadan. We have pack of crops, right? All right, so I don't want to turn this in right now, right? But I do need to turn this in. Actually, hang on. We go to 30. That makes the most sense. My storm water is going to get used up, right? And then I got to open six glades? Okay. And then this right here, I got... I need 40, 40, 40, right? 40, 40, 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's cut off this at forty. Cut this off at forty. No, it's not that one, right? All right, and then forty. All right, well, that's not moving. Hello. Alright, what do we have here? 
Hmm, none of these, right? No, none of these. Reroll. Oh, okay, I'll take this one then, yeah. Barrels, that's amazing. Oh, that guy needs... Hmm. Well, do I want to move the resolve by a point, or do I need the wood? I think I need the wood, right? I think I need the wood. All right, let's let's click on this. Hang on, let me move beavers. Beavers. Makeshift posts. Yeah, let's take the beavers off makeshift post. Woodcutters. Yeah, all right, so... Hmm, stone cutters? Yeah, let's put the stone cutters over here. Field kitchen? I need all the field kitchen workers. Herbalists? I don't need all the herbalists there. I definitely need the wood while I can, because I can't do it outside the storm. Alright, yeah, alright, that's fine. Grr. Grr. Actually, hang, hang on. Actually, that's better, right? Because it's right next to the warehouse. Let's just do this here. And then this guy here? Oh, are you getting to 22? No, you're not getting to 22, are you? We'll take you off. We need as much green water as possible. Okay, come on, beavers. Oh, I forgot to check the trader. Oh, boy. Shit. Forgot to check this trader to see what he had. Alright, we got... Let's see here. I need this. Increased production yield, right? And the other one... Maybe later. 17 on that side. I need two more on this side, right? Yeah, alright, that's fine. I need one of these? And I need one of these. Right on that side. And then I... Okay, so... Hmm. Lower crops, production limit, you don't need 30. I, I changed that already, it's 10. I did change that already. So it's 10 already now. Now I need to figure out something about that, right? Okay, the kiln is helping me out a lot. And then the biscuits. I guess this is my only biscuits, right? I guess I do have the ability to make herbs. High level of corruption? What is this? 14? Okay. Oh, this is your sex. Ugh. I might actually need a second one of these. Oh no. Yep, I might need a second one of these. I need workers. I need workers. I 
How many do I have? Oh, that's the last bit, right? That's the last one. I don't need this anymore, right? Okay. Why second if you only put uh, one, three people in the first one? What What do you mean? What? What? What's your question? Why second if you only put one third people in the first one? What do you where where are you talking about? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Why second what? The fire making building probably blight post. Oh oh okay. So why do I have a second one? Is because sixteen is really high. It's really high. And I need to figure out how to get the parts for that. That's why I'm kind of like, oh shit. Hmm. Let me think here. 16 right here. You see that 16 heart? I have like 16 blight on the heart. Right? The Z key. Z key. Right? So this is the Z key right here that I'm holding, right? You see how the heart's got like a total of 16 blight? That means that I need a second one because this group of three is not going to cut it. I'll probably lose somebody. Oh, I'm just starting the blight mechanic. Okay, so you're still new. You don't understand that yet. Okay. So the blight mechanic here, if I don't, if, you know, if I don't do something about this, I might lose people, right? And one blight post is probably only going to clear about 14, 15, maybe if I'm lucky. Right? But... To be safe, I like to make sure that I have a second blight post to clear that. Anything above 15. So what I'm right, trying to do right now is I need to come up with the parts to take care of that. And I think what I'm going to do is re remove this one over here. Right. Only mark trees and empty it all out. Right, because I need this. I need that to make that second one there. Okay. Right, what I did was I empty out the goods. If you hit destroy, this does not go back into the warehouse for free. That's just... That would just be exploity, right? So I had to wait until they emptied it out before deleting it. So that's why I turned off everything and, you know, forced them to deliver. I I basically took it over here and brought it over here or whatever it was, and they just delivered it, and then I just deleted it. So I didn't have to, like, click on this and boom, 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 or wait for them, whatever. It's just... I made sure that I brought it over here and then turned it off the tree and forced them to deliver it, basically. That was the reasoning for that. Yeah. And I need to come up with more than 16 right now. That's why I'm trying to rush this. I'm trying to prepare this right now. And then the rest of this, they're just going to do whatever, right? Now this one is done, right? This doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I could have just deleted this. Damn it. Oh, I could have just deleted that one. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even see that sitting there. Oh, boy. I've already changed the thing. Let me just put a limit on that. But I've already maximized that. I don't know why they're still cranking it out. All right, let's see here. Herbless. Oh, rain. Oh, I got the stamping mill already. Well, this will help me more because the humans can proc that. The herbless camp. 
Do I have anything herbally? I don't have anything herbally. Or I re-roll, right? Well, I only have 15 coins. I don't know if I want to re-roll. Oh, I do. Do I take it for the human proc? I mean, it makes scrolls. I'm trying to, like, justify taking the rain mill. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with... With the... With the... With the, uh... Flower, will I? I don't think I will. I've already installed the water on this. Yeah, I've already got the water installed. I don't know, though. Yeah, see, I don't know. I can't think of a reason to take this other than increase in production yield and a chance to proc. Because the humans can proc it by 10%. So adding water to that gets me a pretty good... Oh, I didn't even install that, huh? Oh, it's not bad. I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as bad. Since I didn't install it yet. Hmm. Four pipes, three pipes, right? Two bars. 13. I need... Okay, I need the copper, right? I need the copper. I wish this would tell me, right? You need to pay five copper multiplied by the number of years. If you don't, lightning will destroy three. Oh, I don't even have enough copper. Let me just take this out. Last game, I made so many copper roads they move so fast well right now i need copper for your the hostility level three right and we're at, we're at year six so three times six or sorry five times six right you need 30 coppers to survive so that's why i'm thinking okay i might not need the i think i i'm gonna go probably with a rain mill because I can't get clay, so let me go ahead and take that first. Oh, hang on. Damn it. I haven't installed the wall engine yet on it, right? get that back right at least some bricks and whatever back what are you missing yeah you're just missing fabric mainly all right we'll wait on this i guess i don't want to compete with that right away all right what else the kiln was blue water right i ran out of blue water the old kitchen what can you get me instead Yellow water first. Release the blue water. What just happened? What just happened? What? Why did it... Oh, I turned it in. Oh, I accident... Oh, how did it... How did it turn in? Oh my god. I was in the middle of just this screen. What the hell? Oh my god. I accidentally must have clicked something on this side here to turn in the quest. Oh, come on. Really? That UI is really bad. So I must have clicked on the check mark over here through the through the screen. Through the interface. I was looking at some interface and what interface was I looking at right before then? The blue water, right? I think it was the blue water. Oh, yeah, no. I was looking at this screen. Yeah, so I must have accidentally clicked on whatever the hell that is over there. 
Yeah, I, I must have clicked on it somehow through this. Like, through that. Huh, damn it. It's annoying. I was trying to get rid of the blue. Alright, what? Hang on. What? Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. So annoying. Oh, man, you old buddy. Oh. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright, at least I didn't hit the pause button this time, or unpause. Oh boy. Blue water, right? Yeah, something something doo doo. Juju. Alright, at least I turned the quest in, I guess, before the storm. That's not as bad. There you go. So the blight posts. It's got or the uh, the ancient hearth is that 16 is going down. You see that? Because of these guys here that's working on it. All right. Woo. Clearing all that out. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call the traitor. If I. If anything, I would just kill off people to reduce hostility, then call in the traitor. Wild Ice. That's not something I would do. I would just kill people off. First. I... I would... do the traitor thing... near the end, and kill them off that way. And the traitor doesn't come right before the storm anyways. Alright, I'm gonna wait until we clear that before doing it. I think this should be doable, right? I think that should be doable. We have the... We have the Tinker, right? The Tinker does the pack of building materials. Um... Shoot. Dude, oh man. <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I need fabric from somewhere. Eggs and mushrooms, right? Alright, stupid rotting rain. Rotting rain's killing me. Biscuits and porridge? I need that filling dish. Alright, you have no deposits, right? Hmm, I guess that's fair. Go ahead and move that there. So, how much more do I need? I need. Bricks, and I need fabric. Bricks and fabric. Bricks and fabric, right? So I need more bricks from somewhere. Let's see here. Hmm. That gets me what back? Three, right? Chat demands a new glade. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. 
Wow, humans are actually happy, huh? Huh, humans are actually happy. Firekeepers thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take that one. That's probably That saves me a lot of times. I don't know. I'm playing in here. Yeah, I see the trader. I'm thinking about it. I, I don't know. I have to think about this or this. Well, it really depends on if I get stones or not, I guess. How many How many more do I need? One. Four. 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 So four times three is twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen, right? No, 3 plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. I need 15 total on the fabric. And then wood, or... Uh, sorry, um, what is this? Bricks, right? I need 1. 4. 1, 2, 3. No. So, okay. So, I need... 8. 9. I need 9 bricks left. And I need 15 fabric. You're not selling me anything. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's gonna help me. I think that's gonna help me a lot. What do you guys think? That will solve a lot of my brick problems. What do you think? Do it, right? Uh, but I'll lose all my money. I don't know, it's so tempting. Hmm. It's so tempting. You don't have more stones, yes, buy the clay. Not no 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 no. I have I have stones. I have stones. Well this I don't have any more stones to knock out, but the question is if I I mean, I might get stones if I open something up, right? Let's see here. Do I have a... Do I have a, um... A food problem? No, right? I don't have a food problem. Alright, well, what did I say? I said I said I need 15... 15 of those, right? If I, I delete this... I get three back. So I need 12 fabric still. I get that back. I get... Okay, so that's six. 12, three, eight, right? I still need eight. Eight fabric. I gotta come up with eight fabric somehow to finish this off. Tons of grains, by the way. Maybe make a pack of crops to sell. Maybe, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I do have a pat a lot of those. I guess I can do that. That's fine. Probably make 60 of these or something. Um I'm thinking here. I think I should buy that, right? To stretch my my existing stones out. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I still need to sell stuff, though. Well, this one I definitely want to turn in now. No question. So that way, this here in the future is not going to be a problem. But are bricks really so much of a problem? I mean, if I get, like, a monastery or something, right? Because between be beavers and and humans, I need more brick homes, right? Look in here. See here. Oh, oh, you know what? I get okay. So I destroy lizard homes. I can get all the fabric I need, right? Hang on, how many fabrics do I need? I said I need 15, right? So 15, this is one, 
two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got the math. I got the math down. So that's fine. I'm going to finish the harmony next. Easy peasy. All right, you know what? Probably not. Let's go ahead and take the, the right. I'm okay with that. Just go ahead and knock that out of the way. Move on to the next round. I don't have to worry about the fabric too much. Now the question is, do I want to get that to increase my bricks? And then I can save some of this for chest solves. But I still need money to open up glades, right? Right? I still need money to open up blades. Hmm. Because I still need bricks. Well, I actually won't need bricks, right? Hmm. I'm thinking here. I'm voting against this decadence. You're, you're voting against that, right? You're voting against that. How clay or stone can you buy on 21 gold? How clay or stone can you buy on 21 go gold? Um, okay, so let's say 21 gold. How many can I buy, right, is what you're asking? Um, so I can get about 42. 42 divided by four? Is it four? 42, right? 42 divided by 4, or 3, right? 42 divided by 3. What's 42 divided by 3? Times 2. We're looking at 28. 28 additional uh, bricks. Right, 28 additional bricks if I do that, versus my current one. I have 83, 83. But I don't want to use all my stones, though. That's a thing. You need money to satisfy chat's need of popping glades, right? Yeah, I do need money to open glades up. I gotta open six glades, so... But this could be the last thing I turn in, though, so that's not an issue. I, I, I probably don't even need... to worry about that. Okay, what do you guys think? Will I get 22 humans, or will I get... The one on the right, out of the way. What's the other? Two, right? That's 12. I need 10 more. 10 more after that. What do you guys think? Will I get enough humans to do this? I'm at year 7, right? If I go up to year 10... Right, that's like what three years? Three years times roughly two a two a year? Three eh, maybe. No, it's not gonna be enough, right? You can favor humans to get rep, I think. No 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 no, this is not rep. This is have at least twenty two humans for thirty seconds. Have have humans. Not get human reps. More people equals more danger. Yeah, more people is definitely more danger. I agree. I agree. So I, I, I usually cut off picking in more people. Because I'm already at 14 and 18, right? That's probably a bad idea. I'm going to go with the one on the right. Yeah, let's just go with the right. Okay, so we got this and this, right? 30, so I can come up with this. All this is easy to solve. I was thinking in general, not the order. Um, no, I'm going to commit to this, because then we can get the plus two biscuits. That way, our biscuit production is going to be faster, right? All right, so... I still need wood cutting, right? Let's do that for now, until I figure out something with that. I don't need this. Alright, do I favor somebody? Yeah, let's go ahead and favor her. That's the best option right now. 
take this guy off. Finish all those eggs or eggs or whatever, right? Alright, so here here's what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four. And then once these guys finish, we're good, right? Oh, I shouldn't have deleted the warehouse. I should have done that last. Warehouse should have been the last thing I do. Come on. But we didn't buy any clay, but that's okay. I'm trying to get the harmony out of the way. Or what do you got for me? Ooh. No, no. Tricky question. Smokehouse or tavern? I'm gonna go with the tavern. Normally I like the smokehouse, but we gotta have the tavern. I need a service building. There's just there's just no question on that. I definitely need a service building going, right? Well, I'll do that last, right? Yeah, this this first. All right, let's go ahead and knock this out of the way so we get that plus one pack and the biscuits. All right, so... Boom, 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 boom. Warehouse. Blizzard Homes. Boom, boom. Boom. Uh, greenhouse. Boom. There. Alright, so that is back just before... The clearance. No love for trade routes. You're all set for provisions, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, technically, I could do some. No, I'm not, actually. Look at that. Provisions bad. I'm not all set for, for provisions. I mean, I could get herbs for provisions. Right? I could switch to the herbs. Oh, distillery, huh? Better porridge. Yeah, we're gonna go with better porridge. Nice. Yeah, very nice. I gotta install that on this. That's my install there. Humans, let's go. Let's go. All right, I need two more human homes. What do you got on the side? 10, right? All right, so that should help humans, right? High level corruption, what are we talking about here? Five? Uh, we'll be fine. Alright, let's go do this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy. Alright, you. You stink. Go somewhere else. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, boy. All right, so I don't need this, though, do I? It makes ale, but I don't have a way to make containers. Oh, I do have a way to make containers, huh? Technically, I do. Hmm. I need a ranch to make that work. I need a ranch. All right, I guess I can do this, right?
All right, we got our tavern up. Beautiful. Beautiful tavern. I guess I'll do a little bit of both, right? Or I'll, I'll do some some herbs first. All right, so let's see. I need two people in there. Might need to get. I might need to take more people in, right? To get the twelve or the twenty. Yeah, I do need to add more people to get that. The twenty. So who do I need more? I guess I'll go with the left, right? Less beaver. Oh, the well. Less beaver is the one on the right. But the one on the left, I guess I can round that up, right? Because everybody will be the even number on the left. Yeah, left is actually even numbered up. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Well, I do need to get to the 20 mark. My human's at. Tavern, oh. There we go. How's my wood situation? Okay, I got a pretty good amount of wood. We're doing pretty good on the wood. Actually, I could probably stop on that one, right? And then we can probably go... Like in here. Move you over here. I think you should be able to collect the the stuff off of that, right? Humans will d want ale. Humans want ale. Let me get people off of this list. Humans want ale. All right. Well, I guess I'll take. I'll recover that one. Well, I don't need it right now. Let's wait on this. I need this one, right? That's the 12 bricks. Come on, beavers. I don't need the eggs. All right, I, eh, that's fine. I just need porridge, right? Okay, you don't need to make porridge anymore, right? Forgot about that. You need biscuits. And that's the flour mill. Oh man, do I have enough? I don't know if I have enough. I have four bars. How many pipes do I already have? None, right? Shit. Well, I mean, I could make more bars, but... I think we might have a problem later. If we do. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna probably get hit by lightning. I don't think that's gonna... I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I don't think I can do anything about that, right? Oh, I might be able to stick that there. Yeah, I might be able to stick that there, huh? Oh. Let's find out. I don't know. That tree's in the diagonal, right? I think I might be able to stick it there.
Yeah, I could stick it right there, huh? Okay. I might not need to open the glades. Yeah, okay. Alright, that could be fine. Well, I don't know if I need that there, though. That's the thing. I'll stick it there anyway, so that's fine. I gotta remember not to unpause. <laughs> I gotta remember not to unpause. Do not unpause. Do not unpause. Do not unpause. Do not unpause accidentally. Jesus Christ, my thumb. Okay, take off people. I do have this bad reflex to want to unpause. Alright, we're stuck, right? No, no, no. Oh, thank God. Okay, so now I can unpause, right? Or wait, wait, wait. She's gonna move her bar. 34, right? 85. Hang on, if she hits 34, I don't think she's gonna make it in time, right? Okay, she didn't make it in time. Alright, so perfect, perfect. I don't have to jiggle this. Fine, let this go. Alright, what do you got for me? I need to figure out how to get more pipes. Ooh. Oh, the one on the right! Oh. I'm thinking here, do I kill people off? That's the question here. I'm bringing in how many? Four, right? How many do I need? I only need, what, two there and then eight on the other side. Well, I guess killing people off right now is a bad idea. Alright, no. No, we don't kill people off. Oh, flame amulets. Don't we already have the five barrel thing? Yeah, I don't know, guys. 100% free wood cutting. Which doesn't work during the storm. Right? Or... I don't know if this actually stacks. I think this is an upgraded version. I don't think it stacks. This is an upgraded version, right? We'll find out. Okay, so this is upgraded version. Wait, we don't have an amulet already, do we? I don't think we have an amulet. Oh, that was last game. That was last game. So I do not have a flame amulet this round. Okay. Alright, so what this means here is that if I don't have to pay, it's, it's an upgrade. You see how it says upgrade? Right, it literally does say upgrade. So upgrade means it doesn't stack. I'm gonna go with the left, because then that, that way we can cut for free during the regular season. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 
some reason to actually open glades now, huh, guys? There's definitely reasons now to open glades. Alright, I'm gonna go with that one. Alright, chat, you want you want glades opening, right? We will get glades opening. Alright, so the question here now is What two buildings do I want? One is a monastery. And then two, it's probably a bakery. Clay pit for containers? Okay, clay pit's a not bad idea either. Well, we're gonna get containers off of the barrel thing, right? Because we're making planks. But yeah, the clay pit could be for the stamping mill. Alright, okay, so, okay, monastery is definitely one of them. I, I, I definitely want a monastery. Oh, ranch? I don't know if I need a ranch. I mean, there's only one jerky eater. What's my benefit for the ranch? Give me a reason to do the branch. I'm looking here. I'm looking at all my stuff here. I don't know about ranch. I mean, I definitely think I need some sort of pie and biscuits, right? Which is a bakery. The monastery is definitely one of them. Sustain sustainable containers and eggs for biscuits and pies in the end. Con sustainable containers. Eggs and biscuits for the pies. Oh, oh. I understand why you're saying ranch. I see, I see why you're suggesting the ranch. But I have no way to get pies after. Oh, I mean, I can still get biscuits, right? I'm thinking here. Well, the monastery is for sure, so I can actually chop trees during the storm. Get out of this, so I don't ever ever hit this ranch is such an eco economic economy smoother okay I'm thinking here all right that's a that's a good suggestion I, I'll take that suggestion I like that I'm, I'm thinking it I think that does seem fair so we're hoping to get the biscuit pie thing later I mean we already have a way to make biscuits it's not super efficient but I'm down with that idea. Yeah, we already have a semi. Alright, so monastery is one. And then ranch is the other one. Because the ranch could get me meat. That could turn into containers. I'll commit. Alright, so this guy here... will be the ranch for the monastery. Also, shit water skin recipe available and you won't have enough containers from the cornerstones anyways. Yeah, yeah, probably. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad, right? Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I agree with it. Your thought process there. That's a fair, it's a fair, reasonable idea there. Um. So we're gonna have... I mean, that's fine, right? If I get that. Actually, no. That's last, right? Yeah, that, the other one's last. Because it's actually better on this one. There, okay, that's fine, right? 
for that one. Yeah, that's fine too, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll go with that. Damn, I need, I need a. Uh... All right, we're not ever gonna pay for the thing, so I might as well just make this and just burn the uh, the two, right? So I'll get four, right? Four, and then I'll get, I'll just get, I'll just get pipes, right? Right, hang on. So I'm gonna get four more. It's eight. Yeah, I'm only gonna get. I'm only gonna get enough unless it's procs for some reason. Somehow we magically proc that. Pickle goods incoming this way too. Yeah, pickle goods is not bad an idea. I need a book though. I'd like to get that book. The pickle goods book to get the skewers at the same time. I just love the ranch so hard, so hard to pass up. Okay, yeah, no, I, 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 I get you. It's fair, very, very fair. I feel you. All right, so this one, I guess, humans, right? Where are all my silly humans? Louder. Oh, you're, um, you're bricks, right? Come on. All right, what do you got for me? Oh, plus two to the leather? Sure, I'll take the plus two to the leather. That's gonna work out for us really well. <laughs> On this map, sure. So we're gonna go with the left, right? Cause that evens up all the numbers. And then you're 14 on that side and you're 22 on that side. I need to get move eight on this side. Okay, we need two more homes then. Or one, right? One more for you. And what do you got for me? Nope. 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 Oh! Oh! That's gonna help me. Oh yeah, right? That's gonna help me. I'll take it. That solves my copper problem. Oh, I guess I could just buy the parts straight up. Hang on. Three there, right? I don't need this anymore. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Right? Cause we'll get we'll get whatever we get there. Um. Okay, hang on. So I need to get. Maybe buy ores? I mean, we're gonna get the ores off of this. I'm just gonna straight up buy the parts, right? Is it better to buy the parts or buy the, the copper bars? No, it's actually better to buy this, right? Because three bars to two, it's the same. Yeah, so it's actually better to buy this. Do I have any now? I already have two, right? So I need six. Um, I don't need to pop anything, do I? I don't think I need to pop anything anymore. I mean, I'll pop it last minute. I 
can pop that last minute. I don't need the crops, right? We we establish that I need to just sell that off. Um, hang on. I know I need to buy the six. This is one point, two point, two point. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six on my own. That is kind of one point, right? So I need five on my own. Five on my own. You're all set for the resolve, you think? I'm all set. I should be all set for resolve, right? Because this guy gives me a little bit more. Two, three, four. Three. Okay, so three. One, two, three, four, five, right? Five on my own. I think I should be fine, right? So let's go ahead and just buy the six that we need. And get rid of my crops. Get rid of the one. Probably just get rid of all of it, right? I can probably just trade for the rest. Probably trade for the rest. Or no. Hang on. Okay. I'm I'm kinda nervous about selling all that, but it's okay. I think that's fine, right? It's reasonably fair. Okay. Reasonably fair. I need this in the ranch. I need that in the boom. So we're we're set, right? We're set. Bam. And then you, I guess we will start trading the rest of this. And just put a limit on this. Let's do 12? I think that's fine. It's fair. And you are just yeah, you're just that for now. You know what, let's take you off until we actually get something solid, concrete. And then maybe some meat. Eh. Hmm. Alright, why don't we do- yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. And go up a level. Oh yeah, it's free! Oh yeah, it's free! <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm like, wait a minute. It didn't move. Oh my god. Thank you so much. For the freebie. And then the humans need one point, right? So I can get the human house up right here. And we're set. I mean, the only thing is... I mean, I have a chance to proc if I buy two of those, right? I mean, it has a chance to proc. Worst case scenario, it's the same thing as buying two, right? Because I already have one bar. What am I going to do with the one bar anyways? I don't know if I should sell that or not. I, I always feel bad selling my wood. I'll take it. That's fine. Whatever. We do have enough. So hopefully there's a chance to proc that. Alright. Yeah, blue water, right? Yeah, we have a chance to proc. Otherwise, it's kind of the same thing if I'd bought two anyways. Please proc. Proc. Boink. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> nice! I got four off of that one. It procced. That was a great investment there, guys. Alright, so humans... Humans. Once I get that, I get my one point, right? All 
Alright, I don't think I need all these. Yeah, I don't need all that. And that is gonna need eight, right? What do you got? That's two, right? Need to move two over there. All right, 14 on that side. Okay. I can use six more on this side, right? And we can start trading now for money. Three bricks? No, not the copper. Not the copper. Uh, maybe the fabric. We're gonna probably get a lot of fabric, right? Take it. Nice. Humans. Bam. Humans are moving forward. Alright, that's fine. I guess we'll do that since the warehouse is kind of nearby. Alright, what do you got for me? Oh, shit. Bonkers. Boogers. God damn it. I just got my 10 amber, too. <laughs> oh. Do I re-roll or I take the better pickle goods? That's really shitty pickle goods. I can't justify this, guys. You think the pickle goods? Ugh. Come on. Oh, I mean, I have money. I have money. I mean, okay, look. I can always pop this and turn that in last. That could be the very last thing I turn in. So that's not an issue. Right. It's not an issue. Oh, we're moving. Nine. I'm trying to milk the lizards while I can. And we'll switch over to the humans later. Even though the humans do more. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and re-roll this. Plan haul, right? That gets me fighting gears. Huh. Hang on. Two star AL, so let's gotta do this first. That's, uh -huh. Knock that out of the way. Oh hey, humans are just happy already, huh? Happy shiny lizards and humans holding hands. All right, we're gonna go with a clan hall. That makes the most sense. Easy everything now? Well, we'll see. We will see. All right, I think everything is starting to, to fall into place. I mean, where can I start getting people here? I mean, that one should be fine, though, right? Oh, no. That's risky, but... It's risky, but I think we might be able to do it. Worst case scenario, I open a glade, right? Okay, okay. Point five on the lizard. And then one more on the on the three, okay. I think it might be too late. Okay, I might be okay. Hang on, where are my other lizards at? Oh, there we go. 
Mall trappers, blight posts. Monastery? Ooh, monastery. Alright, we'll probably move the monastery out. Kiln. Kiln. Makeshift posts? Beavers. Woodcutters? I guess I can take the woodcutter off. I don't really don't need to worry about all those woodcutters, right? That should get me my bar a little longer, right? The point not... Uh, no, it's not going to get there in time, though. Alright, so we got a little bit of time, right? Because the lizards do drop pretty slowly. I don't think it's going to finish, though. It probably won't. Huh. It probably won't. Oh. Done. Lizard's done. Okay, that's fine. We can wait till the next season. Lizard pays me off that little bit there. not going to do any good there. Let's go ahead and fill this in. And then we're going to do pickle goods, right? Yeah, so we got we can do some of that. Yeah, we'll do some of that. Ale? Okay, we can do some ale too, right? Yeah, let's do some ale. I'd like to get a human in that one. Be done. Stop going on coffee breaks. Uh -huh. There we go. Alright, so next round, we should be able to we get this, right? One, two. One, two, three, four, right? I gotta come up with four on my own. So one... Four, right? The humans might give me... Two more at most. The beaver's got to give me something, right? Beaver's got to give me two, right? Ale, biscuit, pickle goods, par party till to win. Party till there's no tomorrow. You can also make bisc. Uh, you can also make wine, right? Yeah, but I don't think I can. Oh yeah, you're right. I can make wine. I should be able to make wine. Well, okay. This here is not useful, right? It's only for fighting gear, and I don't have any fighting gear. I mean, my only resource is that one egg patch. That's only like two left. <laughs> oh boy. There's only like two left on that. All right, you know what I'll do? I'll I'll put you two in here. I'll take you two you off, so we can get the remaining amount there. There, how's that? So we can get that extra. Proc chance. So that's the only resource building left. So technically, the clan hall is pretty useless. Yeah, I think the clan hall is absolutely useless now. I'll leave it there, though. We don't need to worry about it. Alright, so I need to get one of these two of these and then what, what can we sell okay we can sell some roots don't know about that yeah I guess we can sell that right I 
sure. That might be a problem though, but that's okay. Alright, so lizards. Pay off. Pay out. Pay out. Boom. Oh. This is year nine, right? Jesus Christ. Do I re-roll or do I take it? I only have one re-roll left. I'd rather save it for the last one, right? I think I should just take this one right here. Ancient Hearth Burns 5 for just in case I need to burn something. Yeah, I'm taking I'm thinking think, thinking about taking this one just in case. This is the run where you will never end. <laughs> well, technically it shouldn't end, yeah. Because I'm on flooded mines, right? If I don't if I take more people in, then this bar moves up. If I don't take people in, then we're good, right? Ex exactly. At least there's no hostility from years. So you already paid out your three. Now the now it's up to the humans and beavers to do their part. So I guess it's time for beavers to get some love. All right. So beavers, beavers, it's time to give you some love. Lovely beavers holding hands. Oh, beavers. Don't get too excited, beavers. Don't get too excited. You might get killed off soon. Well, I can always probably throw the beavers in this. That's not a bad thing either. Alright, we're gonna get ale, right? This is the ale lady. No coffee breaks for you. Wait, are we getting plus two mushrooms now? We just need more meat, right? Oh, come on, beavers. You gotta pull your weight. You know what? There's more beavers. I might as well favor them. Yeah, it's probably a better idea to favor them. I mean, right now, I'm at the sweet spot, right? 11, since the woodcutting is, is free. Oh, skewers, right? Better biscuits and skewers. Yes, I will take it. I will take it. And I have just the perfect spot for it, too. Right in the back. Right there, my warehouse. Great run? Yeah, this is going pretty good now. Meat? Yeah, I guess meat, right? Meat over mushrooms? I guess, I guess I can just do porridge off of this. From this off. And we can switch back to mushrooms. Alright. Oh, oh! Humans. Beavers. You're finally doing something, beavers. What is this? Beavers are doing something. Beavers are happy. What is this? Oh, we gotta favor the humans. Oh wait, no, no, we don't have to favor the humans. We should've just left it on the beavers. My bad. My bad. Market? Butcher? Okay, better skewers. A reroll. 
Not better skewers. There's actually better, better jerkies, right? This actually has a chance to proc versus the other one does not. I guess I'll take it. You're just cruising now, huh? All right, well, this is the year they die, right? I think this is the year they die. I don't have any... I don't have anything else, right? I think this is the year they die. Yep, this is gonna be the year they die, unless I get this up. Uh, wow, these guys are just... Cruising along. Alright, well, hang on. I could probably take off some beavers. Where are my other beavers? This guy over here, right? How about you go in there? Hang on, let me just remove these beavers. Oh, ho. Oh, still not enough. How do I have... How am I, how am I host... Oh, I'm hostility too because the Queen's Impatient moved over a notch because we went this direction. That's why. So it should tilt back in our favor again. There we go. Warlords. Warlords, really? Warlords? We don't need woodcutting anymore. Let's go ahead and take these guys off. We don't need woodcutting. We just need that ASAP, right? Or they die. Oh, we gotta bump this up to a little bit more than that. We didn't get it in time. Yep, we didn't get it in time. Here we go. Oh no, this is the year they die, isn't it? This is the year they die. Deliver a pack of building materials. No worries, replacements are ready and waiting. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, I guess it's not that big of a deal. I mean, if they die, they die, right? Because the Queen's impatient goes up, that means our hostility goes down. So, it's not terribly bad. We could, we could afford killing a couple of people. Oh boy. Boing. Boing. Eleven? Okay, that's not terribly bad. What is it? Rain collector? Beaver waiter died. That's this guy here, right? Don't need this clan hall. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. I don't really care about that. Hmm. Bring it here. Ah. Huh. All right. Well, I can take that off and put you on there. Give us that. Thing there, rain collector is not that big of a deal. Yeah, 
I'll stick that in there. Kiln goes down, right? What do we have? 91? Yeah, kiln is fine. Oh, hey, I can just favor the humans, right? Patience? Patience brings death, yeah. Probably fine now, right? I need to get some people in. Reroll. Oh, filling dish, nice. Wait, well, probably won't ever fill. What do we lose? We lose two humans and a beaver, right? Two humans and a beaver. Is it better to go to the right? Because then I can just... Well, we have a lot of wood now, right? Or no, if I go with the right... I just get blizzard homes. Hang on, what, what are you at? You're 14 even, right? You're 17. I guess it doesn't matter what I, t I take. I don't think it matters what I take. And the lizards probably will be fine on their own. So I need to start making these packs, right? Should be fine, right? Oh, we're, we're, we don't need that there. We just need better biscuits, right? And then... Voodoo, hoodoo. Oh, we're moving! We're grooving! Let's move this bar a little bit. Nice. Give the beavers a little bit extra love there. Crank this water up for the beavers. Pipe that in there. Get those happy people. Lizard on keeper? I mean, I don't need the lizard on the keeper, actually. I mean, there's a lizard here. I don't need this on there. They're all moving, so there's no reason to move it. That guy needs 36, so it's never going to happen. Oh, I need that there. <laughs> to maintain the the numbers. Right, I just need to open six. But if I if this bar moves to the left by one full bar, I might not need to. Right. I might not need to at all. I'm gonna do this, right? I'm gonna turn this in now. That way, we get the plus biscuit production. And then I might not even need it, right? Because I can just turn this in. Yeah. If they just do... 0.25. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't even need to open in the glades, right, guys? How amazing is that? No need to open the glades. Right, we just gotta cross that 0.25 limit and then we're good. No need to open anything. Yeah, so now we're done, right? Well, just for fun, we can open some glades, right? Or call the trader over. Just for fun, let's call the trader over. I mean, do we need anything else? Yeah, I don't really need anything else, right? Yeah, we're good, right? 
What do you got for me? You don't sell tools, you. Oh, look at that. Nice little dish there. Hmm. Bam. Oh, I got the dish. Nice. Thank you for that. Oh, coats. Oh, everyone's going to be happy now, right? Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. No, we don't want the monks to die. We don't want the monks to die. Hallelujah. Oh, look at that. I'm at zero. How about that, guys? I'm at zero hostility. Just from killing off a bunch of people. Nice one. Very, very nice one. Alright, so one more to go. And then we'll do the giveaway. Actually, I should probably do the giveaway for... Well, I guess one more to go and I'll do the giveaway. Yeah, one more to go. I might as well finish it off. I should be fine, right? Hey, Idle Camel. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Thank you for the follow. Alright, so what do I have now? My win streak is now 16 games in a row. 16 games in a row. Do I do Watchtower? Or do I do this Gathering Storm? I've already done Gathering Storm. Which one pays more? They're roughly the same, right? No, actually, the, this one actually pays more. Yeah, that one pays. This one pays more, right? Ugh, I don't know about that. I'm thinking here. This guy goes this way, right? Can we get... Can we get uh, between two? Oh, yeah. We can get between two. But that's a little nuts, don't you think? That is a little nuts, don't you think? I mean, those are two hardest one. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. That's gonna that's gonna kill my win streak. Easy clap? No, dude. All right. So what what you guys are trying to suggest is six and patience. I start off with six and patience. I've done this once on P10. Yeah, P10 is not the same as P20. Um, and then the Gathering Storm, it gets longer every year. I guess it's doable. It's probably doable. It's only like 8 seconds long, or 12 seconds longer every year, right? It's probably doable. I don't know if it's easy clap, but... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna let you guys vote. Alright. Watchtower. Double modifier. Or single modifier. Right? Double modifier. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in all the options for you guys. How, how about that? We'll, we'll let you vote on all the options. Alright, so watchtower. Double modifier. Alright. I, I, I kind of have a feeling where this is going, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe half of you guys will will pity me and just give me like a good one. Frost minus four radius. Um, what is this? What is the other one? Spark, do. And then what was the other one? What is it called? Spark do. Spark do crystals. And then the last one is what? It's just the gathering storm by itself. Alright, so. Which town to do next? Alright, so I will allow some channel points if you want to spend channel points. I'm going to use the bathroom while you vote. All right, so I'll put in five minutes. It won't take long. All right, guys, here you go. Here's the poll. 
Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the Watchtower probably is the best, right? Watchtower, guys, you gotta vote watch, Watchtower. Come on, all right, BRB, have at it. All right, so I am back. Let's see what you guys voted on. Three X viewers numbers. Did, did, was there not enough voters? Holy smokes. Who? Oh, 99 people voted. Well, I don't know about 99 people, but I think somebody pitied me. 51% for Watchtower. Double modifier got 49%. Thank goodness. You owe me 5k for the Watchtower votes, Ron, but you must choose beavers. Okay, alright. Let me uh, put my BRB away. <laughs> the losing vote got 92. The losing vote got 97. Uh, the winning vote got 99. It's 51% to 49. Okay. The double modifiers. People really wanted that double modifiers, didn't they? But, okay. So, Watchtower won. So, I will take Watchtower. And then... Alright, well, FEMA. Unfortunately, there's no beavers here. That's a lot of channel points spent. All right, well, I will let you guys vote on this one, and we'll do it. We'll do a quick vote. All right, so we'll do a a quick vote on this one. Caravan one, easy clap. Well, I will do a forty second vote. So Watchtower one, we'll do Watchtower. All right, so which one do you guys want? Watchtower. Uh, you know what? We haven't done Scarlet Orchard today. So let's do that. That'll be different. And I'll let you guys vote on this real quick. It's a 40 second vote. Top. Fox humans. Middle fox. Bottom harpies. The top actually has tools. So I think the top is a pretty good choice there. If I had to pick myself. Alright, the bottom... Harpies by themselves, but they come with fabric. The middle also comes with fabric. But both of these come with less food. The top actually comes with the most food. So I think the top is probably the best choice here, in my opinion. If, if it was up to me to vote, right? Or choose. Alright, cool. Five, three, two. Alright, nice job. Easy, easy. Um, now, what do I want to do here? I guess money, right? Money. Planks. Do I want to bring in the farm? Oh my goodness, I can't bring the farm. Something has to give. Something has to give. I guess for once, I'm going to bring in the wood. I mean, human-fox combo, you gotta bring the farm, I think. I think not bringing the farm would just be a mistake. Right? I think that would be a mistake completely. Alright, so this is win streak number... April... April 22nd now. Wow, it's like past midnight. Like, a lot. Like, it's 3 a.m. right now. Win streak number 16, right? Uh, by the way, if you need mods, I can be a light one to make a gambling here and there. I need to practice in mod interface. Yeah, if you want to help mod, I'll give you. I'll, I'll let you mod FEMA. So if you can set up some gambling or, or whatnot, if you want to help me out, let me see if I can. I don't know how to. I don't know how to set up mods here. Next time, I'll I'll, I'll set it up next time. Um. Give me a second. Let me make sure it's. Is it 16? It's 16, right? Yeah, 16. Alright. Yeah, uh, let's see here. What do I have? We're taking that for the first time, right? Okay. Alright, let's try that. I've never done that before, but okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try that. How's that? Oh yeah, there that does work. Okay. Does it work? It says unable to add moderator. For some reason it says unable to add moderator to work. 
All right, so uh, yeah, whenever you get a chance, create some polls and create some some predictions or whatever. Let me hang on. Let me pour out my drink here, and then I'll hit that start button, and I'll do a run a recap of what we're doing. Uh, is there nothing unlocked in the city thingy in the center? What do you mean unlock? All right. Well, let me give you a recap. All right, so. Chat decided to vote for the top caravan, which is foxes and humans. And chat also voted on the watchtower. And uh, we are doing Scarlet Orchard. And I decided to take the money because that's a really good deal. Since we've got watchtower, opening glades, you know, it's free. Since we've got humans, the five point farm is okay with me. I'll take the, the wood. And we may be brick starved. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Let the fun begin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So we've got watchtower. Let's see here. What do we have here? Food production speed has increased by eighty percent. Really nice. Oh, I see soil right there on the map already. Nice. The humidity in this region is unbearable. Fuel efficiency is 25% lower. This is scales of hostility. Okay. Uh, lose one unit of random water for every two units of water and rain engine. Okay, yeah. So that's not terribly bad. Uh, resin producing building... Or recipes producing building materials yield 50% fewer goods. So long as I disable stuff that produces building materials and we're fine with, with that. And then the last one is pretty much death. If I hit five, then it's over, right? I don't think there's any way to survive that one. So, alright. We will continue. We got soil there, too. Nice. Soil here. And blue water. Oh, man. I'm not thrilled about the blue water. That's not a big deal. Putting my woodcutters down. The usual. The opening. Oh, hey, we're not brick-starved. Look at that. We actually have stones there and roots. Okay, it's not terribly bad. It's looking good already. Explorer's Lodge, huh? I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. Forger's Camp's not going to do us any good right now. The Explorer's Lodge might be useful if we do ruins, right? Uncover some ruins. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, the kiln. Nice. Very nice start. Well, my RNG is in my favor today. Very nice. This is a lot better than the last run. My god. Okay. Rain collector. Actually, I'll stick it rain collector over here. Oh, it's a good question. Very good question. Unknown race. That's a very good poll. If you guys want to gamble on that, feel free. Get your channel points up, and then you can spend it on whatever you want. Alright, let me go ahead and adjust my Food consumption here. Okay, we only brought three or three slots of food. Okay. Um. And then the kiln, right? The kiln's the six. Okay. All right, I'm going to do the field kitchen next. That should be enough for a little bit of everyone, right? My first three-way gamble. <laughs> oh, yeah. So for those who might not see the gamble, I think it's country-specific. Because um, certain countries, there's a region restriction on gambling. Because they, they, they kind of... Even though it's not real money, for some reason... Your particular country says it's bad. <laughs> well, I don't know why some countries feel like channel points 
is bad. I personally don't think it's bad. You're not you're not spending money, right? Australia is looking at doing that. Yeah, because I know like some uh, certain viewers of mine from the UK or somewhere in Europe, they don't get the channel points prediction thingy. And I did that prediction thingy a while back when when I did the uh, motorways or mini motorways, right? If I was going to win or not, and people were voting, gambling on the uh, whether I was going to be able to win or not. Hey Gwen, welcome back. It's because you get more points from subs and stuff, so you are technically buying channel points. But yeah, but I mean, all the stuff that you're spending with, with the channel points, it's not like you're getting money back, right? I mean, I don't see you getting money back. I guess if the lottery is kind of like you winning it back. Or with the raffle that I'm doing, right? I don't know. That's kind of weirdness there. Actually, it's this one, right? Oh, wait. I didn't install it yet, did I? No, I didn't, right? Because that I don't need. I just realized that. Okay, well, the only thing I need is porridge, but there's no porridge to make, so I don't need to build this right away. Let me turn this off. Because there's no real porridge right now. Watchtower gives you zero hostility from opening glades. Yes, that is correct. But it still costs me money to open. So I'm not going to open it until I get like my timed orders and everything in place. Oh, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Nice. Gotta have that kill off some people. I'm gonna commit to this. That's for sure. Alright, I'm not gonna burn anything on that right away. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Yeah, and gambling with stuff that has real world value requires a gambling license. Twitch doesn't have that. If you keep betting like 100 points, I will not bother. <clears throat> yeah, I see what you're saying with the, the real world value stuff. Yeah. I mean, channel points, if you're spending channel points. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, so we've got that going. I guess I can do that for now, right? And just let that run. And I need this ASAP, right? So I get my blight post running. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Fine, let's go with that. Yeah, I think I believe it's it's already dis uh, uh, disabled for for people who can't can't participate on the the gambling. As it is now, you can still vote and stuff using zero points. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I 
I think I'm allowed to set the points, right? I'm pretty sure I can set the points for the voting. Because that, that's in the Twitch integration. There's an option here that allows me to choose, right? For channel votes. Channel point voting. It's default 200. Oh, I should have clicked. Oh, man. That's terrible. There. Park. What was this one? Oh, yeah. Explorer's Lodge? No, that's not going to happen anytime soon. You can participate in stuff where you bet points, but you can't bet points to get points. Alright. Uh, you, you can participate in stuff where you can spend points. Spend points. But you can't um, gamble your points to get points. Okay, I see, I see. Alright, so they're eating this and this, right? Oh, man. I think I need to get the crude workstation up ASAP, then. Oh, no, I don't need bricks on that one, right? Oh, no, I gotta get that house up and running. Gotta get that trade post up and running too. Jesus Christ. Man, there's so much to do here. Oh my goodness. Nine workers is definitely not enough. How much is fuel? 24? Okay. Let's see here. I need five. I think I need five or six. Five. I need five right away. That's my first priority. Followed by this and this. Two and one. I'm actually, no. Two and one. I want to make sure I have 15 at all times. Alright, so now I want to get my trade post up and over running over here, right? Yep. Alright, let's get that trade post for there. Figure that out later. Hmm. Oh God, goodness, there's so much to do. Hang on, so I need four, right? Okay, yeah, you 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 just deliver, right? Actually, you know, I could probably just put this right here and take this out. I think this takes it, right? Yeah, it does take from it. I don't need to deliver. That could just take it from this. And then we're set. Yeah, so that just sits there and this guy just grabs it as I need it or as he needs it from this. So there shouldn't be a problem there. And then now I need how many... How many blight posts? Or six, right? I need six. At least six. It's a cutoff. And then I, I need that for the plus two, right?
Oh, boy. All right, so who won the prediction? We'll find out. Here we go. Hang on, let me look at this first. So what, what did you guys vote on? What's the results? Or did you get rid of it completely? Was there a poll or was it a prediction? Oh, lizards. Oh, a lot of lizard voters. Okay, so 90, yeah, 91% lizards. The winner's lizards. Yep, it's a good chunk there. 2K lizards. Wow. Two people. All right. All right, well, FEMA, no more voting, I guess, for people since they don't want to be able to participate in that. Um, Just me with a 2K vote? Yeah, just you then. All right, I'm going to go with the left, right? Because then we also get pipes and i'm all about getting the pipes for free plus we get the lizards two people were on the lizards oh okay see i won zero for being correct um let's see here put the lizard on that one for now you, you come out and do that thingy here. What do we what do we have? I'm thinking of going left, right? Because getting copper. Oh, but reduce. Oh, I don't know about that. So the problem is getting crystallized dew production is reduced by one. That's bad for the for the foxes. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a bad idea. I'm gonna reroll that. Oh, Stormwalker's tax. Okay, so this is an example, right? Of what I was saying is that it's nice to have the trader right here because if I take the Stormwalker's tax, right? Remember I was talking earlier this morning about the Stormwalker's tax, ethereal, right? This corner option will disappear if you delete or if you decide to unpause the game before choosing it. Now, if I choose this, right, it says you'll gain 15 amber every time. Oh, god damn it. Oh, do you know what I, why I screwed up? I screwed up because I picked the caravan already. Right? Had I waited on taking in the group, I could have gained that extra 15 yeah. coins. Ugh, 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 ugh. That was my mistake. Oh, hmm. That's not bad, right? Hang on, let me see what these other ones are, though. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I'll take that. That shouldn't be too hard. Well, that shouldn't be too hard either, right? And then I'll get, like, the bricks. But if I go with this, I get the lizards right away and get the parts. Yeah, I'll go with the right. Mm. Alright, the left shouldn't be too hard. I'll go with that one. Oh, butcher, right? Plus one? Or humans plus three. I'm gonna go with a butcher. It's like a free building, right? Yeah, that's like a free building. Alright, so we do have the farm, so the one on the right is actually shouldn't be too hard. I can turn that in right away if I want to, right? Another money, 15 money, and you get those extra two extra lizards? I I I it's it's only on newcomers. Right? A new group of villagers arrive. I don't think that other group counts, but they might have changed it. They might have changed that. I don't know. But you in the past, it has not. Like, in the past, this does not count as a new group. But it says new arrivals, right? So it might. It might. We'll test that out, actually. I am curious. But this is actually interesting, right? Because then I can just make the biscuits in the, in the kiln. Or I go with this. And I don't have to worry about my... 
berries problem, right? Because I'll still need berries to make biscuits. Yeah, and I'm torn between this and this. The reason why this is really attractive is because I use blue water instead of green water for that. So if I use, if I if I get the blue water here, right, I can actually get that to work. And two star biscuits is the highest level in the game. Um but do I want a plantation or not? Right? Because I need to spend my 28... So Okay, so here's the deal. I need to spend my, my money before taking this. If I take this, I lose all my, my money. Hey, hey, Mart. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. Um... Hmm. But I don't have a rain mill right now. That's a thing. And I won't. Well, I won't be able to do biscuits without pies any, or the, the 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 berries, right? I'm, I'm gonna take this one. That's fine. And then I'm gonna get rid of my money. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Go with that. Alright, let's take this. And then... Let's test it out. Let's see if, uh... Let's test it out to see if that newcomer thing he does make a difference. Um, okay, hang on. I only have one lizard, right? I only have one lizard. To get that to 15, I could put it in this one, right? Or favor them, right? Favor them. Okay. Let's hurry this up. Alright, so we'll find out if I if I actually complete this and this counts as, as 15 coins or not. I, I'd be surprised if it does. It's usually only newcomers. Right, because this thing says only newcomers, right? Well, any time, uh, every time a new group of villagers arrive. Huh. I mean, that's worded in such a way where it sounds like if I take this, I, I benefit. Or like when I open up a, a glade event and take the camp, right? All right, so we'll find out. Here we go. Wait, why can't I favor them? Oh, there we go. That's weird. I couldn't favor them on pause. Oh, probably it didn't finish in time. That's probably what it was. It was probably still on cooldown. Alright, so I have no money. Nope, it doesn't count. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's never I I've never noticed it actually giving me a payout, so I kinda figured it wasn't gonna do that. So now we got two losers, right? What's this first one? I'm not gonna mess with that one. Alright, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 
Nito Toledo. Oh hey, how do we get how do we get bars? Did 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 the caravan come with bars for the boxes? I guess it did, right? Did we come with 14 bars? That's actually awesome if we did. Where did the 14 come from? I think I think it came with it, right? Wow. I guess we did get bars right right out of the gate. Did that 14 do bars come with us at the start of the game? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Hmm. Okay, well, hmm. I guess that, it did come with it, right? I guess that's not bad. We need, um... Planks, right? As many planks as possible. It did? Yes, it did. Thank you for the chat letting me know, Idle Camel. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was like, wait a minute. How do we get do bars all already? That's a nice little perk there. So how many... How many homes can I make off of that? 12, right? It's 12 divided by 3. It's 4. Wait, 12, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. I can support 8 boxes. Something to keep in mind. Alright, we're, we're short by 1 unit, right? I think it's because I started late. Oh god. Why do I keep getting these really bad rolls? I mean, the form's not bad. I mean, the tools might be useful for later. Ale, scrolls? Who uses the scrolls? No one uses the scrolls. Oh my god. Hmm. These are really bad rolls, I'm thinking here. I mean, this, the form is not bad if I get enough bricks, right? Because it's, it's got the proc chance. I guess I'll take it. We already got the Explorer's Lodge, too. Jesus Christ. These are awful, awful early starts. Yeah, very, very bad. Oh, let's see here. 25? It's good to do 25. How much more is this going to be? I need to figure out how to get that. Oh, God. <laughs> Two, right? He's not going to finish that in time. Shit. Uh, yeah, it was from the start. I checked video. Should have waited for Amber for rerolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It's okay. It's okay. And the form's not terribly bad. Not the worst. But I do need all right let me go ahead and put you in there all right let me take the humans off hang on let me click on this Uh, wood cutters can't rain collectors crew workstation yeah 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 all right well uh -oh. uh, 
Monster here. Jeez. So you're two? Okay, that's not terribly bad. Let me take this off. Yeah, let me just take this off. Uh, the other, the command to actually do that is like control. If you hit the control key like this, you can actually see all this and adjust it. It's only two right now, right? Feels okay, uh, man, Fima with sword. Okay, let me go ahead and put another guy in this. Eight charges. Nine max. We have no info on Big Glades Fertile Soil. I would like to make prediction on that. Uh, what do you mean? No, 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 no. We're we're fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that. One eighty per minute. One eighty a minute. Okay. We're gonna take you off here. We're gonna add a, a woodcutter in here. That's fine. Trying to get rid of this, so I can put my white post in there. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do the blight post. Get that out of the way. You ever visit super scary glades? Yes, I have many times. <laughs> many, many times. Chat's convinced me to do it a few times too through the uh, voting. We've had to vote for that a few times too. All right, hang on, let me move these guys around. Rain collector. Hang on, I want to see this. Nope, okay. Alright, so one of the other reasons why I actually click on the buildings to look. Because if you guys sometimes wonder, like, oh, why don't I always go like this and move stuff around? Well, I always look because sometimes they're in the middle of doing something. If I were going like this, and I was blindly moving these guys around, it's not a good idea because you interrupt whatever it is they're doing. Right, so she's right here waiting, right? So that's a lot of the reasons why I always like wait. Like go like this, right? To move them around. Um So that way I don't disrupt the current process. Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, right? Ugh. Yeah, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Shit, next turn is gonna be really bad. 60% already next turn? Hmm, man. For tablets? <laughs> yeah, for tablets, technician. Yeah, he remembers. Yeah, I, I've opened a lot of dangerous ones, so... My last week's stream, you'll see it. I was going to post a, a VOD on on the uh, YouTube where I titled it YOLO where chat gets me to open all these crazy stuff. Okay, so that's going to be very, very useful, right? Since we're already in year three, I'll take that. That will ramp up really nicely. And I can support one more. I'll take this, right? That's going to help me a lot. Wait, do I need more humans or no? I need more lizards, right? I need more lizards. Hang on. Let's take a look at this. 
All right, I'm gonna do this one over here because that's easy. Well, actually, that's not easy because I don't have any buildings that do that, right? I need a rain it mill or something for that one. Well, that's not easy either, though. But it does give me parts. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the easy, well, semi-easy. Semi-easy. Oh no, that's not gonna happen, right? Clan hall. No, we didn't get the clan hall. I th well, I mean, we have this, but that means I need 18 humans. <sighs> I need 18 humans to make that one happen. The clan hall, if I just, I just need to get a clan hall, right? And then do that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... that's not going to happen anytime soon. So I'll unpause that one. I'm going to go with this one then, right? Because that will even out the number of foxes I have. And that way... Foxes get a home? What did the fox say? Give me a house. Yeah, we're going to unpause that one. Okay. Alright, so I, I have money. I can open up stuff, right? I need... Oh! I forgot. I need ten lizards. I need ten lizards. Did I pick the right one, guys? I, what were the choices? I forgot. Did I miss that or no? I don't know if I missed that or not. Hmm. I don't know if I missed that or not. Alright, well that's fine. We, we just need food, right? Water, green water, we're, we're fine, right? We need uh, humans on this, right? And I need to get the plantation up and running. Yeah, that's fine. Plantation right there. And what are your what's your deal? I need six of those. Alright, uh only got one mill, right? I need lizards? Okay, let's see here. Do I deliver that? No, I need to get that done right. Okay, that one I can deliver and get that out of the way. I'm okay with that. I need the bricks. Oh. God, why do I keep getting these crazy buildings? Oh, God. I want the tavern. I gotta have the tavern. Oh, flower in the planks. But the tavern is really, really hard to pass up. I know. Oh, what's all this? Sir? I'm taking the tavern. I'm taking the tavern. No questions on that. The tavern's the most useful out of all of them. Right now, anyways. 30 of that, 12 of the fabric. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? You got all these service buildings. I think that's what's gonna piss me off is I open one of these glades and attack all these dumb buildings are in the glades, right? That's, that's gonna piss me off the most. Which service building do you think is the best? The monastery? The tea house? The tavern? And then... Maybe Explorer's Lodge, depending on how many runes you open up. Uh, forum? Like the clan hall is kind of sec... Let's see here, the... The market is the worst, in my opinion. 
The the guild hall, maybe, because it depends on how much trading you do, right? If you don't do enough trading, you might the best you might get is like what, two, three. Right? If that's like 120 gold that you have to trade, so you're only getting like two. The reason why I say the monastery is the most powerful is during the storm, you save six uh, resolve points. The monastery saves you six resolve points during the storm. It lowers hostility. So you actually gain two points outside of the storm, but during the storm, you can actually chop trees or whatever the hell it is that you want to do. You don't get hit with, with all these high penalties, right? So the monastery is my number one service building that I prefer to have. The second service building would probably be the tea house now since that got introduced into the game because it actually scales up it it's retro right you can actually get three four five i've gotten like five or six eight hostility or sorry uh resolve points from that so the tea house i think is the second best in the game followed by the tavern but the tavern is is kind of a toss up and a tie between the Explorer's Lodge because if you actually have a lot of ruins available and you've actually opened up and re recovered or salvaged the ruins, the Explorer's Lodge could be better than the tavern, right? So that's that's kind of where it, it really depends situationally. If I mean, if you have no ruins on the map, you only get like one reconstructed, then the tavern obviously is better, right? The, the other reason why I prefer the tavern well, it used to be Tavern does brawling and leisure, which is serve the beer. Now it's like, you know, serve beer and wine. The market is the, the lowest, right? All right, so now that you already know the Tavern and the Explorer's Lodge is my sort of, you know, tie, sort of um, tie tier or whatever it is, right? This could be potentially better than the Tavern, but it could be worse. Then followed by the forum, because the forum gives you... Here, let me click on this to show you what it does. Actually, I could probably just right-click on it, right? Yeah, there we go. So the forum gives you 15% chance of proc. So add that to, like, the rain engine. We'll give you, like, the rain engine, I think, gives you 20%, I think. 20 or 25. 25, right? So add the forum to, to, the, to the rain engine. And then add that with another 10%, I think, towards the end. Yep. So you're looking at 50% proc chance. And then if you throw in, like, say, a, you know, a worker that normally... Okay, so not in the kiln for the example here, but let's say, like, a smokehouse, right? The smokehouse has, a, has the option for the, the lizards to proc. You're looking at 60% proc chance, which is really amazing. And I think... And I think the Citadel upgrade, you can probably get like proc chance of bonus yields or something, right? I think, I can't remember if the Citadel gives you like a 5% total or something like that, right? So that's that's the other chance, right? 15 on, uh, let's say, so we're looking at 65% chance of proccing, right? So that could be really, really nice. Now, okay, so here's the other catch. If you get like two districts running... You can actually increase the proc chance even more and get close to like 100% almost if you can get like enough districts, right? Three three districts. So that's pretty cool, right? Monastery is also effectively plus two resolve during drizzle and clearance. Right, I just mentioned that, Robo. Except for the foxes, right? So foxes don't benefit from the monastery as much. Right, so monastery is still good outside the storm. It's amazing during the storm. That's just my my take, right? The number one building. I if, so if I like every time like I get offered like blueprint from the smuggler's thingy with a priest, I always try to take the monastery. That's just me. So hopefully that answers your your question, just. I know that's kind of a long answer. That's kind of like my tier list in a nutshell during stream, right? Monastery is better than the hall. I personally think Monastery is better than Guildhall. Because Guildhall, how much can you get? How much can you actually get out of the Guildhall long term? Right? Three, maybe. Maybe. Right? Because that's like, what? 180 trades, right? That's kind of ridiculous. 
you really have to be in heavy into heavy trading to get that thing to work right drew drew true true i think i've gotten like seven out of the guild hall in b20 wow technician you must be a big trader then because i i think that you can get way more off the tea house so the second building was the tea house right so the number one building is monastery tea house tavern and explorer's lodge toss up forum bathhouse clan hall guild house maybe guild house might be above the clan hall but it's it's very situational temple's the worst okay sorry sorry take that back temple is the second worst market is the worst in my opinion market is the worst in my opinion All right, what do we got here? Do I have money? I have money, right? I should pop this to get that blue water, right? I'm holding out. There might be other stuff after this. Jesus. Okay, so hang on. I, that means I only need seven more, right? I only need seven more. You know what? I'm going to take the loft. I, there's no way I'm going to want the... The clan hall. Even if I... Even if I got it as a choice, I don't think I'm going to want the clan hall. I've already got way too many service buildings. I only need, like, what? Seven more humans to make this work, right? I haven't tried the tea house yet, but it seems really strong since it scales with consumption. So more people you have, the faster your global resolve bonus scales. Yes. And it's also retro. So it doesn't matter when you get it. By the time you get it, it's going to be a, a massive boost. So that's why I really love the tea house. I mean, the reason why I I, I still rank the monastery as the top because lowering hostility allows you to to get off of some of these things, right? If you're like, let's say you're at five, the monastery lets you go to four or four like four or whatever it is, like in between here, right? So the monastery can really save you, stretch out the hostility um, for your run. Alright, what do I want to do here? I need five lizards, seven humans, and I need a building that uses clear or yellow water, right? I need a building that uses yellow water. Eh, don't have a building that uses the yellow water right now. Alright, that's fine. You know what? Hell, I'm gonna open this up. Alright, I don't think it's gonna matter, right? If I open it up now or later. Hell, let's go ahead and open this up now. So I can just get that blue water flowing. Copper mine? Eh, okay. Herb notes? Eh, okay. We feel eh. Sure. I just wanted that there. What do we have here? Okay, we're at year. Oh god. I got. I gotta crank this up. <laughs> Too busy talking. Too busy talking. Oh, oh, our food situation. Oh, shit. Too busy talking. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, foxes are starving. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Oh God. No, I need that person, don't I? How much wood do I have? All right, I'll let him finish it off. Be done. Mm. Alright, you gotta burn this one as a backup, right? Just in case. Well, 13, right? Need 15 at least to start. Okay, alright, we got something somewhere. How's this coming? 14? 13. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we need to get this going, right? So how? So how? So how is the correct correct question there? So how? Fourteen, right? We're fine, right? Okay, fourteen. 420? It's 420%. Can we do this? Foxes or lizards are not going to survive, right? Yeah, lizards are not going to survive that. I might have to go down a couple of notches. So hang on. So we have... Okay, yeah, we, have, we need blue water, right? Actually, we're going to have blue water. Let me turn this off. Because this is going to be the blue water I need, right? Here at the beginning. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bo uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Lizards are not going to make it. That's what I thought. Lizards are still not going to make it. Wait, I don't want you spinning. I want you burning. Yeah, they were both in the, all in the middle of, of making. I don't want them making. There we go. Hopefully we will survive that. Forge deposit has got nothing? Okay. Yeah, there's more there. Nice. Oh boy. We should be able to survive that, right? It's 184 percent. It's 270 per minute. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, all right. Still alive. Okay, still alive. Okay, how much wood do we have? 16? Okay. Who, do, who needs a house the most? I think it's lizards, right? Are Fox still starving? How are they starving? No, they shouldn't be starving. There's like... Yeah, foxes shouldn't be starving. Yeah, the fox should not be starving. Yeah, it's amazing late game. What upgrades are you going to grab from the archaeology office? I don't know yet. Since I'm on Watchtower... I'm not building it right away because I can just pop all the little glades, right? And then figure out what to do next after that. Because the first, the first entry, I don't want to place this down because if I place it down, I won't, I can't delete it. And if moving it costs money, I guess I can move it 
at the beginning of the game. I just don't know where I'm going to place it first. Uh, but the general idea, though... Oh, they don't even have a preview for it. Well, I'll show you later once I decide where I'm going to place it. So let me, let me, uh, yeah, let me, let me walk you through that, my thought process on it. Uh, anyway, since I'm on Watchtower, I can break through the Little Glades for free, so I don't want to spend my point, my upgrade on the first. Usually, when I, when I have it, right, I look around, and I'm like, okay, well, I can kind of guess where, where the first uh, dig site is, so I'll usually rush to those little pockets. But then, if it looks like there's too many little pockets, right? Then I actually norm I will spend my my first upgrade on the on the finder right the 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 dig finder. So the first the first tier it will show you the the nearest. The last tier is the farthest, and then the me the the one in the middle is like the in between. And I believe the farthest typically is going to be like the the forbidden, and then the the closest will typically be the small the small glades. And then the medium will typically be the dangerous glades. That's usually how it plays out. Do you use reward queue on Twitch for giveaway or should I complete rewards? Uh, don't mess with my channel point stuff. Do not mess with the channel point stuff. You didn't you didn't click on anything, right? Please don't mess with the channel point stuff, Bima. Have to ask. Did you did you mess with that or no? You didn't click on anything with channel points, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mess with the channel point stuff. I do that manually. I actually will do that manually. The, the, yeah, the rewards channel point stuff. Yeah, let me take care of that one. Because I, I got to do that after this run. Um. Alright, so let's see here. Tap, tap. Oh. Shit. Lose all fuel upon picking this cornerstone. Oh. Shit. Do I want to do that or not? This is really powerful. That's really powerful. Let me see if I can... Oh, shit. He's not taking the wood. Oh, shit. Because normally, like, if I get lucky and he buys wood, I can dump all my wood and then take that and then recover my wood. I don't know if it's worth... I mean, I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm doing pretty good. I don't think I need to take this. Yes, I also lose coal too. Yes, that is correct. I lose coal. But I like that one because that recovers all my wood pretty fast though. I think it's it's worth it always. Yeah. I've, I've taken woodcutter's prayer so many times and I've recovered all my wood fairly quickly. The only shitty part is I'm going to lose all of it and I can't sell it. You're yeah, right. First order can give me coal so I can jump start that right away. Oh, hey, look at this order. Tavern. Oh, yeah, look at the kiln. Oh, man. Interesting. Well, that one's never going to happen, right? Yeah, that's not going to happen right away. Like in here. Two mushrooms? I'm not producing mushrooms. Well, that's not bad, though. That that That's actually helped me out a lot. Um. Okay, let me think about this. What do you guys think? The kiln for the plus one... The tavern for these little shitty items. I think I'm gonna have to go with the kiln. 
We already have the kiln. I think the coal shouldn't be too hard, but having plus one bricks is not bad. I'm gonna go with that one. All right, hang on. And I need as many lizards as possible, right? Oh my god, the one on the right is actually better in my opinion. Yeah, the one on the right is actually better in my opinion. Even though I need as many lizards as possible. I guess I'll wait. I can stretch that out a little bit longer. Hello. Okay. What do you got for me for 20 coins? What do I need off of this guy for 20 coins? Nothing, right? All right. I think I'm going to take it because I think I can recover this pretty quickly. I just It just sucks that I have to burn it all right now. Give him that little bubble here for a second. Alright, here goes nothing. I lose all my shit, right? I don't think there was any... He wasn't spying anything, right? No, nope. okay. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna turn this in so we can get that fuel back again. Okay. Not terribly bad, right? Alright, we gotta just keep chopping then as quickly as possible here. Make it worth it. Alright, that's that, that was painless, right? So we're gonna go with the one on the right, because I want more of the pipes and tools. Even though I kind of need more lizards, but... Alright, so we're up to what? Shit. Six, seven, eight, nine? Ooh, we have way too many people here, guys. Things are looking pretty bad. I probably shouldn't have taken those people on. That was a bad idea. I think that was a bad idea, guys. I absolutely think that was a bad idea. Yeah, shit. I need to distribute that, right? Six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, alright. I need to get an another hearth running. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna take this other hearth. I gotta break into that, right? To make that work. Shit. Or... Break into that one and make that one work. Okay, let's try this one then. How much money do I have? I have 25, right? Hmm. Move woodcutter closer to recover faster? Yeah. Hang on, see if there's anyone working. So one of the things that I actually have learned is that if they're already in the middle of cutting, you don't want to move it unless you actually pay attention. If you move it, it interrupts whatever they're doing and it resets. So for example, if I were to move this building, all this resets, even though they're still inside the building. So a little FYI, before you move, you might want to look at the current progress. Before moving. Need two danger glade complete anyways. Open those instead of the small ones. It's free. Watchtower's free. So I want to just get the small ones. Because the small ones. I can actually start working on the dig sites. Does that make sense? But yeah, I should probably move it closer to this. Hang on, are they working on anything? No, right? Yeah, I should probably move it closer to this. Nope, that's also not it. Okay, uh, the foxes on the hearth for Watchtower is totally useless. 
I'll, I'll let you know right now, by the way, technicians. It's The foxes will not... They are basically a minus six, but it does not ever go lower than zero. Since it's always zero, it does not ever matter. Right? Hence the sarcastic... Oh, I don't get the icon that you're understanding. Is that a sarcastic icon? Kappa? I don't... I, I guess that's what it's sarcastic icon is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just so for those who don't know... I actually learned this the hard way. I found out that Watchtower and Foxes do not work very well together. It's kind of a, a stinker there. I think the devs really should make it so that so that the uh the foxes do gain the um the bonus from watchtower because then we can actually go negative right i think that would be nice right foxes with the with the watchtower would be really nice Actually, I could probably open these up, right? There's no reason why I shouldn't open these. I got 15 coins, right? Boxes are already OP. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, so that one right there, right? Let me see if I can put a warehouse here. To start. Owls are wood. Oh yeah, we're recovering. We're recovering pretty fast, actually. Not a dig site. Not a dig site. What in the hell? It's probably this one over here. Yeah, you know, based on what I can tell, it's probably... It's either this one over here, or this one over here. Alright, what do you guys think? This one here, north of the warehouse, or south by the soil. What's the large... Uh, skull dangerous glade at the bottom oh this is called the forbidden glade it's super hard it's super hard all right what do we have forcer's hut oh i'm gonna take the forcer's hut all right so my reasoning for taking this is because we need crystal bars for lizard homes I mean, the one on the right is not terribly bad because we can actually smelt stuff, but crystal bars is more important for the foxes. Alright, so this right here is super, super important. Hmm. I'll stick this here for now, I guess. Doesn't matter. We'll stick it out there for now. Let me make another one of these. I need to make a garden. I mean, that's kind of a small spot, isn't it? But we'll fi I'll figure that out later. I'll have to figure that out in a little bit. It's not important. Uh, let me switch you over here. Next. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. I want this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That. Never mind. Yeah, that one. Oops. I, I did that wrong. Jesus Christ. I screwed that up. Okay. Yellow water. Blue water. All right, I'll stick the yellow water there. All right, so that one I need to clear out, right? One tree left. 
What do you mean one tree left? One tree left? Where? One tree left? What one tree? What do you mean one tree left? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I think I, no, I think I, I did, yeah, no, I, I held control shift. No, I did control. So what, what, what control does is it excludes the edge of the thing. No, 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 no. I, I, I did control. I did control. Right. You see that one tree? It doesn't count, by the way. It looks like it counts. It doesn't count, by the way, FEMA. No, 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 no. I, I did it right. It looks like it's there. I always hold control when I move this. I always, I always, I always do this when I move it. So don't worry. I got it under control. Not a problem. See, it looks like it's one tree left, but it's not really. Because if you hold control down, it excludes... Like, if you do something like this, right? It excludes the... The building. Unless I cut it through like this manually. So when I do cut, right, you'll, you'll know... If I'm cutting something, you'll see my... I hold shift and I make it smaller. Forbidden always counts for... Yeah, the forbidden always counts for this. Dangerous glaze completed, right? So that that, that will always count. Oh, uh, shit. Wait, come on. Two, right? Fox is not gonna make it. Or not foxes, lizards. Lizards are not gonna make it. I got six homeless, right? It's homeless? Homeless is not penalized. So homeless is not penalized. Yeah, I know. I, I'm aware of that. Homeless is currently not penalized. Hey, thank you for that follow there, Barry. Barrio402. Appreciate that. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to clear this up so I can stick in a hearth. So I can set up a second district over there. I probably could do another one over here, right? But I don't have any money left, right? Oh, I do have five coins. I think the spot would be right here, right? The sweet spot is right there. Yeah, that sweet spot right there. Except for the plus three base for having a home. Yeah, I definitely need more homes. Just picked up the game. Do you stream it frequently? Yes, Barrio402. Yes. If you check out my YouTube channel, you'll see like all my VODs there. It has like timestamps of... Or every time I make a new town, there's the, the town always has like the, the date on it. For FEMA. Yeah, FEMA basically tells you, right? Almost every day. I usually don't stream on weekends. That's the only the only time I don't stream. But yeah, almost every day. 8 to 12 hours plus. You'll you'll see at least 8 to 12 hours of of stream time. So if you know, I mean if you'll catch it, right? You'll usually catch one of my hours. Love, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for that heart. Why not give Lizard home? Do you have plenty of wood? Well, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm planning on doing it all at once down here. Do I have plenty of wood? I guess I do. Sure, why not? Throw him some homes, I guess. Give some, some Lizard some happiness. Six, seven, right? Yeah, seven, there we go. There's a human also missing a house. 
I can even I I even go to sleep and when I wake up, Ron is still streaming. Weekends are fun. Streaming is for work. No fun allowed. Yeah. Well, I need my weekends so I can catch up on exporting my VODs and putting my timestamps on it, right? Because if I stream like every day, 8 to 12 hours, I get no other time to export my VODs to my YouTube channel. Okay. What do we have here? Wanda. Wanda. I need bricks, right? Okay, you're working on bricks for me, right? You need green water. All right, let me think about this. I need green. I need to find like green geyser. Jesus. Uh, uh, by exporting is like one click on Twitch or do you do it hard way? It's one click. It's one click on Twitch. But okay, so exporting the VODs, you can you can export it raw. But for me, I have to clip out my intro because it's copy copyright claimed. And I can't monetize any videos. I've actually exported my old videos on YouTube. And then since I got, since I became partnered, a lot of my older videos, like my auction not included stream or... Hey, thank you for that follow there, a common quail. Um, appreciate that. Let me give you a shout out. Or hey, FEMA, can you do a shout out command or no? I don't know if that works. Can you give him a shout out? Appreciate that. Let me go ahead and follow you, by the way. Let me go ahead and follow your channel too. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Nice. Here, let me type it in. Oh, there we go. Thank you for that shout out. All right, cool. Um, so what was I in the middle of saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you answer your question, FEMA. It's yes, yeah, so you can you can do a one click export uh, in your content uh, producer directory. But for me, I have to like cut out my intro, and then I also go in and I edit. I look for all my BRBs, AFKs. And I cut out like five, ten minutes or three minutes or whatever the time is. So that way people watch it on YouTube don't have to sit through that or they don't have to skip through that. So it makes it easier for people to just binge, binge watch that on YouTube without having to wait. And then I have to, after the after I export it, I have to, you know, wait for the export to finish and then go through and put chapter jumps and descriptions and fill out all the stuff on YouTube for for every single thing answer questions for monetization stuff you know is this appropriate and all that stuff it's 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 a lot of work trying to like put up youtube videos so put in some effort in it yeah i i like i said i used to like just export the raw videos on twitch or so onto youtube for my twitch vods and now that i've been now that i'm a partner with youtube they actually scan your videos and then the the royalty free music that I'm using for my intro, apparently somebody who made it copyright claimed it and they're monetizing those videos that I have. I'm like, this is bullshit, right? So I'm not, it's not a copyright strike, but I'm not allowed to monetize those videos. And YouTube's do have like tools that you can cut out the, the clips. But since most of my videos are really super long, they don't let me clip it out and reprocess that for some reason to replace those videos so I'm kind of stuck so what I end up doing now is I'm just like you know switching it back to private or deleting those videos because I just don't want the the guy who made those the stupid soundtrack to get like free music free copyright claims or monetize my videos just because I have like five minutes worth of that stupid song out of like 12 hours that I have the my VOD running you know what I mean it's really ridiculous yeah, I, I've, d I've done the Twitch VOD music thing where you can do a, like a Twitch VOD funnel. It's possible for me to like run Spotify on stream, but it never actually gets included on the VOD itself, which is nice. But I don't do that. I don't want to mess with it. Um. Yeah, huh? 
So I'm not taking on any more people. Oh. Which is better? 50% amounts of goods, or I get free mushrooms all the time. Well, 50% is more, right? 10... 50% is 5. Right? I'm thinking here. 50% is 5. But on the left... I get mushrooms, which could be useful for the grill. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, 50% is more, right? Because uh, normally it would be 5, so I'd normally get 15 grains. But on the left, the mushroom could be useful, right? Because if I gain mushrooms, I can use that for the grill. Right now, I don't have anything for the grill. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking long-term here, because I need the grill for the skewers, for the beavers and... Not beavers, uh, the lizards and uh, stupid fox, right? No, so berries is the second component for the grill. The first component of the grill... I'll show you, so, so you understand what I'm talking about. Um, oops, not that one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, thank you for that follow there. A uh, million... Million Anvic. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name there. Grill, right? I passed the grill. Alright, so the first the first component is mushrooms or meat. Since I don't get a lot of meat on this, the mushroom is useful, right? The berries is in the second slot. Right? The first slot, that's why that's why I'm thinking about the mushroom thing. And I already have a farm, right? And since I'm getting this grain bag... I'm increasing, right? I'm increasing my thing. So I get like two more. And I'll get like mushrooms every time for every plot. Hey, thank you for that follow there, host KT4. Appreciate that. I'm looking at... I don't think I get plus grains on any of these, right? Let's take a look at this last one, though. Oh... Well, that does not count towards my thing, right? That doesn't count towards my thing. But this is really nice, right? Purging fire. I'm gonna go with the one on the right. That should be easy peasy. I need to come up with this to get the better bricks, right? Hang on. I don't need bricks right now. Let me turn this off. Yeah, I do have a limit on six, right? So that... So this one, I don't need a limit on this. Let's go with a hundred. So that way I can get the kiln one done, right? And I need three more stupid lizards. All right, we're going to go with this one here. I think that makes the most sense in case I ever get a grill. Um, okay. Okay. And the blue water on that one, right? Alright, I don't need that one right away. Uh, yeah, that one's not important to me. Um, what is important to me right now is getting a, a hearth running, right? I gotta get this hearth up and running. I think it's that spot right there, right? Yeah, that exact spot right there. Uh, Alright, well hopefully that gets cleared up. Oh, you know what? I could probably just move this over here. It's closer. Hey! Beef play player. Appreciate that follow there. I don't need more bars right now, right? Okay, yeah, you know what? I'll add a I'll add a bar here. Uh -huh. No, you guys stop adding that. Stop adding that. How many spaces do I have left? I have three spaces, right? So let's go ahead and do 
three bars with a remaining space. Alright, how's this coming along? Jerky, right? The jerky ran out. Uh, Alright, porridge is my big thing, right? I need porridge. Um, I gotta get this going ASAP, right? This map needs a ranch? Yeah, it needs a ranch. That's for sure. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, we got a lot of grain. All right, you guys switch off. All right, so what I did there was I did the planting on this building. I took them off because they don't get a proc chance. So now I move them back to this building. And then that way, when they loop these things here, they have a proc chance to actually get the bars. It You don't need to be in the building to actually loot the bars or to harvest this. Any any farm can harvest any farm or any plot. But which building they reside in determines, you know, the proc chance. So that's a little nice FYI there if you guys did not know that. Um All right, so can I stick this here now? Yes, I can. Nice. Nice, nice, perfect. Is that the best spot? Can I... Oh, yeah, let me re re redo this. Not the best spot, but... No, that's perfect right there, yeah? All right. And I'm going to click on this. Draw my line out this direction. This way. Why do you rush these hearts? Okay, because I have Watchtower. And Watchtower basically does not does not penalize me on, on hostility. So it's literally free. Right? I, I have to pay, of course, on P20, I have to pay 5 Amber for every single pocket I open. And right now I'm I'm opening the little ones first because I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the um I'm trying to get the uh, dig site cuz one of the dig sites the 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 supposedly the closest dig site it's always inside one of the small pockets. So that's why I'm I'm, I'm opening these little guys here cuz it's not penalizing man. I don't have to like take any risk. All right, so we're going to take this now because I got that plus one there. Oh! Beanery! Nice! Oh, pickled goods. Two stars. Pickled goods is the best in the game, too. Nice! Finally, an upgrade. Oh, hallelujah. The beanery. Oh my god, the beanery. Thank you for the beanery. Actually, no. Do you want, want yellow water? I get, oh my goodness. No, I think the blue water should be fine, right? Because we have blue water here. You don't do... I'll let you finish it off. Beautiful. Better pickles, yeah. The two-star pickle goods is actually the best in the game right now. There's no three stars. I mean, the only three stars is if you get the haunted brewery. That's the three star. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look at that. The beanery gets four slots. Oh my goodness. I'm loving that one. You, you just go away. Don't need that anymore. 
So now I need... Now, oh my god, also does pickle goods too. Oh, beautiful. Now I need um, something to make flour, right? I need something that makes flour. What difficulty do I play on? I play on P20. I always play on P20. I've been winning P20 like 80 plus consecutive wins. For a while now. Uh, I actually lost my winning streak last week on Friday. And so now I'm rebuilding my consecutive win streak again. And my current win streak right now is 16? I think the current one's 16, right? Yeah, thank you, <laughs> low girls. It's in the title. It's always in the title. Prestige 20 is always my my thing here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll stick that in there. Sorry, but what does P20... It's uh, Prestige 20. It's it's in the title. It actually says Prestige 20. Prestige 20 is the hardest difficulty in the game, yeah. So in my, in my stream title, it says Prestige 20, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. And these are the modifiers for Prestige 20, right? Prestige 1 is here prestige two three four five so when you when you first play the game uh the highest difficulty that you can access will be viceroy once and then then you'll notice like there's a difficulty underneath that that says unlock right or locked or something like that right so once you finish once you finish viceroy uh prestige one will unlock right so you can't actually jump to prestige 20 you actually have to climb up to prestige 20. So think of like the whole prestige climb as a uh, campaign, right? So you can start anywhere on the lower difficulty to feel comfortable with, earn resources, earn experience points, whatever you want to do to, to get your Citadel upgrade up. So that way you can actually climb the prestige one through 20, right? And each time you, un you beat a prestige level, you unlock the next level. And then once you unlock it, you can go up and down that, that difficulty list however you want. And the reason why I say it feels like a campaign is because each time you unlock a prestige level, they add a difficulty modifier, right? So this is level one. Uh, so I have to do like four additional reputation, right? So normally it's 14 on, on this bar here and then 14 on this bar. But since prestige one adds another four, it's up to 18. And the reason why I say it feels like a campaign because every single one of these modifiers have a little flavor text to it. Right? It says like, oh, large blight swarms. So you can kind of like, you know, imagine some sort of story that goes on top to on top of why this this difficulty level is hard, right? And then the next one here is like, you know, the archivist, you know, he'll assign some settlement, whatever, right? You can read that that flavor text, and then the very last sentence is the thing that tells you what the new difficulty is. Blueprint rerolls cost 10, 10 amber more, right? So every one of these things have a little flavor text to it that gives you some sort of like lore and a sense of a story or a campaign. And uh, anyways, that's just my opinion on how I view the prestige climb. And and then maybe if the developers do expand on that, they could they could do something um and create a a a more formal campaign, I guess. Because I personally think that this game is kind of like, you know, the original Warcraft. Or, or even like Warcraft 2 and 3, where every single mission you, you get, there's like some sort of like stupid cutscenes and stories. And then like, okay, here's your map. Go ahead and solve it, right? Do it. So I'm struggling on Viceroy, but I'm level 9. I've been chilling on Pioneer easily. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pioneer... I think I started off doing Pioneer and then I went to Veteran. And then I went to Viceroy last. I think I I started my first game on Viceroy. I lost that one um, in in uh, my return. So I what had what I had I had won the game over a year ago on the Epic Game Store profile, and I completed everything. But back then they didn't have like a prestige climb, right? And so when they released it on Steam, I started playing again. They 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 have this like whole prestige thing. They changed out the Citadel and they changed out the deeds, right? And so I was like, oh hey, I'm a pro. I think I can do this. I reset my profile. 
The first town I did right after the tutorial was Viceroy. Now I actually lost that. But the moral of the story, the point of the story here is that um, I actually got more resources, Citadel resources, than I would have gotten from doing Pioneer or Settlers. Right? So don't be afraid to do higher difficulty. You just won't get the experience points if you lose, but you'll actually walk away with more Citadel resources. So that way you can use that to unlock those nodes on the Citadel tree, right? So just, just as an FYI, it's okay to lose, right? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. One of the hardest things about streaming and talking is I don't, I, I forget to pay attention to my game here. Okay, that's fine. I am at P10 by by level by level 11. It's okay to lose. Yeah, it's so yeah, my point is it's okay to lose. So long as you you know, you're always getting resource points. That's why I feel like it's okay to lose. It's only 5, right? Yeah, the, you guys should be able to handle that. I'll just throw that in there for extra precaution. I lose some of my most fun games. I've noticed you, you aren't picky off, picking all newcomers. I'm not picking newcomers right now because I'm, I'm trying to maintain my population. It's this population control. If you take on too many villagers, right, it, it charges you six hostility per villager. So if I keep taking villagers, I'm going to... I'm going to tilt this over to hostility level 3, and I don't want to be on hostility level 3, right, during the storm. So if I keep taking villagers every every round, that's bad. You don't want to do that. So that's the strategy there, is that you want to make sure that you don't take on villagers that you can't support until you can actually set up, like, a second town. So I'm setting up a second town to lower the hostility, and I'm trying to redistribute my population. Right now I've got 27 there and I want to bring in 8 over here and then I might take on new villagers after that. Um, so right now I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. Well first of all I want to get this running right. Yeah let me go ahead and do this first. So I don't even have fuel kitchen and two timer when impatient is filled. Still be able to get to P10. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Like I, okay, so recently I did an off stream mode. Uh, I would I played off stream, where I um, I was testing out if I can revisit doing Viceroy right after on a brand new profile. So I started a third profile, and I just you know played off stream just to see if it's possible for me to actually beat Viceroy as my first town with a brand new profile. And yes, it is possible to do. And so one of these days, I'm going to probably do a challenge after I get this. I might do, I might pause this pro profile once I get to, to a 20 win streak. And then sometimes next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new profile. And I know like a couple of viewers said they really want to watch this where I'm going to start from scratch and play brand new profile do right after the tutorial do viceroy and the rule of the challenge is always take the highest difficulty and keep going highest difficulty only i cannot go lower difficulty if i lose on the highest difficulty so long as i still have resources or or citadel upgrades to unlock then i'm okay but if at any point i fail and i don't have any more citadel upgrades right I can only fail one more time after that, and that'll be the end of my run. Because I basically hit a wall where it's like, okay, that's the max difficulty that I can get. Um, and I can't I can't progress, right? So that means I need to go lower to get experience points, but the rule is I can't go lower. So that's that's my that's my challenge for myself next time when I play next week to do a brand new profile just to see if I as a new player if it's possible on a brand new profile just to keep going as high as you can over and over and over until you can climb all the way to the top without dropping in in difficulty right 
So if I if I keep hitting a brick wall and I lose and I'm not progressing and I've already maxed out all of my upgrades and I keep losing, then that means that I do need to drop in difficulty, but then that would that would end the the challenge, right? But if it's possible for me to go all the way to the top on a brand new profile, that means like any new player should be able to do this, right? It's just a way to test to see how balanced the game is and give myself a challenge. So if any of you guys want to watch that, I'm going to try to do that next week after I I get 20 consecutive wins on this profile. I always pick the highest at the moment. Lost once, only on a map without trader. Oh yeah, that the bandits camp, right? Bandits camp. Huh, I'm thinking of moving the fox homes over there. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this district into a fox district. Let me do that first. I need to open up some space here. Jesus Christ. Let me take this woodcutter off. That's gonna tilt it, huh? Yeah, I don't want to tilt it. Okay. Shoot, I really need to kill more people. <laughs> uh, also, we need challenge where you allow forest. I'll do that on a different time. The reason why I don't want to do FEMA, a uh, couple of reasons. One, the game bugs out. And usually a lot of people don't normally join the, the forest and the guardian stuff. And then when they when they AFK, it creates like a, an alert loop. You haven't, I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah, it crashes, right? And so there's there's some sort of bug related to the alerts for the uh, the forest challenge. And I'm trying to work with the developers right now to fi figure out how to fix that. Um, and then the other reason why I don't want to do any, any um, guardians to help me is because I'm trying to get my VODs up and I want people to be able to watch this where they're not going to critique my gameplay and go, hey, you, you've got chat helping you or hey, you've got, you know, you've got these little modifiers. We don't get those modifiers. How, how do you get them, right? So I, that's one of the reasons why I actually don't want to do the Twitch integration, uh, the mini game, that is, because I think that the mini game really detracts uh from the learning experience that people watched my yeah so disable town only forest to harm you um that's not terribly bad but that again that does not play into the how do i because that okay that alters my play style and my play behavior and people who watch my streams to learn how they can do their particular p20 runs the force thing does not help because i have to change my play style to make that forest guardian thing work. Does that make sense? It's not, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not a, a um, I mean, I can do it on this profile, but that's not the point. The point is that I need to like make a good VOD for people to watch on YouTube so they can follow along uh, with with my particular uh, play styles and, run, and uh, stream. Otherwise I have to cut that up and, and put it as a separate VOD. But if you want, if you want to watch those challenges, FEMA, I already have those on on YouTube. When I was doing the Twitch integration test for the the developers, people love when they mess with the streamers. It's actually not. I can tell you this much. It's actually not as big big as you think. Um, I've watched other streamers who've got like 200 viewers, and there's only like two or three people that actually mess with a streamer. Most of the times, it's question marks and they AFK. I even watched your stream, and you don't actually get a lot of people filling out your gar your particular um, three slots. You know what I mean? Okay, hang on. I need to kill people off. I think we got too many humans. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill people off. I'm going to take the Stormforge. Craftsman. Builder. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'm weird, but I'd rather just watch someone play how they're gonna play. Yeah, I be I, I be puff exactly. I I get that comment a lot, and that's why I disable my force and guardian mechanics because I actually was one of the. Uh, uh, if you notice, FEMA, like I actually am the one who actually told the developers 
to to make this feature here where you actually got to choose this before you don't actually have these choices it was either disable or enable only and so i i was the one who actually said look let's add this feature here and this feature here and i actually created a ban list for force and guardians uh when i was doing like a poor man's version of banning out force guardians as a way to make the stream fun so i mean if you wanted to like you can also modify your thing and have force guardians say if you don't like the poison you can just put in a command ban list for for poison and chat can't ever type poison right i don't like uh when streamers get messed with kind of annoying yeah it's just not i get that comment and that's why i don't like to have that on my particular run just to avoid it oh hmm, i'm gonna take this off how many people do i have 25 right I don't have any on this side. I'm going to take... Let's see, you're 5 in? I've got 25. So I take 5 in, I could put... I could put some on that side, right? If I kill off 2, I'll be down to 3, and I take 5. That's 8 exact. Okay. I think I'm going to kill off 2 more, then. 2 more humans. Well, do I want to kill off 2 humans or 2 lizards? I'm thinking here. Uh, how many more am I bringing in? Let me think about this. I'll go left or right. I want right, right, with the parts. So let's say I kill off one fox. One fox, one human, right? One fox, one human. Or I go left and I get the bricks. And the parts. Well, hang on. I need more lizards, right? Technically, I need more lizards. So if I go left... If I go left, I get 7, 8, 9. Uh, so I need one more lizard after that. Shoot. Uh, 2, 1... I, can't, I, don't know, I don't think that's a good idea. I can't. I can't split it, right? I can't split it. What is the difference with different water that wasn't covered in the tutorial? What is it with the different waters? Okay, I'll explain to you that in a little bit. Devs also should add options so that just so that we join as citizens with other names and title. Yes. So uh, to answer, hang on. So I'll answer FEMA's question first. FEMA, that suggestion, I actually did a write-up to the de developers. And I actually have given that feedback multiple times. And I did a, a write-up to the developers on a outline that on a private channel conversation because there was actually two developers in the same channel talking with me directly about it so my write-up is basically and i get this feedback and this comment a lot with with my viewers um one of the ideas is that you basically join town so it was exactly similar to what you said it's very much like played up there's a queue and the idea of of the thing is that anyone can join the first come first serve you're on the queue and if you do happen to do the mini game, right, then it's just the the top three gets added to the queue. But everyone else, so if you disable the mini game, that's fine too. It'll still work. You'll have a queue. Everyone can walk into uh, have a name in, in the town. So let's say right now I have twenty five people, or when you first start the game, right? So everyone like joins, and I have like you know fifty people joining at the same time. So if you bring in like a caravan of eight. Eight people in your in your town will take eight people off the queue, and they're all named as villagers. And you walk around, right? And then if any of those villagers, those eight villagers die, basically, you know, they die. They they have to re manually re-enter to get back into the queue. They're at the bottom of the list. And then if I take on new villagers, let's say new newcomers, right? It will add. It will add like you know. Um, Let's say, so I bring in five people, it'll take five people off the queue and the newcomers will each have their own names from the chat. And if they can figure out how to add the, add this, the list of vi villagers names, that's, e that's even better, right? So that would be really cool if they had like the names on this side or the names on this side, right? So every time like, you know, newcomers come, it just pulls people off the list and everyone as a villager will be, be somebody from chat. And then if you die, obviously, you know, you, you get kicked off and... You know, you can try to re-enter again, be at the bottom of the queue. So the devs really like that idea. They said that they they completely understand that. And um, 
they're they're they said like i cannot add this on the spot but this is something that we're gonna look into adding in the future um sometime soon it's just a matter of when they're gonna try to get that in there so that's a very nice feature i mean chat just doesn't want here's the thing like i've watched other people's other people's stream even my own stream even when i had the guardian of the forest like by the end of the night only like one person or two people sit there and there's like question marks sitting on the forest guardian no one cares to join the town like i've seen like a, a viewer or like a streamer with like 200 people and he's got like you know forest guardians versus like councils and he's only got like three guys or two guys actually participating out of like 200 people that, that's just ridiculous right people only want to join but they don't want to have to like enter a command and, and be active right and if you're inactive the game loops back and forth over and over creating like this infinite loop saying so-and-so joined town so-and-so got kicked off for inactive so-and-so rejoined because they got added back to the end of the queue and it created like this infinite alert notice and it started spamming chat too it was very annoying and most people just want to join and just sit back and see their names on the screen and that's it right it's kind of like in wandering village where wandering village pulls and this in wandering village is automatic it just, just grabs everyone in chat and just throws it on the screen and says hey so and so is a, is a villager right cold of the lamb was perfect with integration yeah so i haven't looked at cold of the lamb but I'm, I'm guessing it's similar to what i was describing so anyways that's my idea is that chat only wants to join and then not care after that and just have fun watching all right so let me go ahead and ba go back to trying to figure out what i want to buy here I'm thinking of taking the middle though, but I don't know if I want to kill anybody off right now. I could kill off the humans and then take the left. Hmm, but I do want the parts. So if I take this, I can kill off, but I wouldn't complete my lizard goal, right? I kind of want more of the parts though. All right, well, you, well, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill one human and then one fox. One human, one fox. We're going to take this. A cook died and a forager. Where's the forager? And a cook, right? Cook, okay, that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. All right, so now we're going to... That's 23, right? I'm going to take the people in later. And I don't need this building anymore for a while. So that lowered my hostility quite a bit. And I'm going to take the one on the right, but I won't do it now. Until the storm is over. How many, how many fox homes buildings do I have? 11, right? I can do one more. Yeah, I'll wait on that. It's not that big of a deal. I'll wait on that. You know what? Hang on. I'll do this one person there. I'll also do resin just because I can use resins for quest solves. And this map doesn't have any resins, right? Yeah, alright. Are we eating berries right now? I guess we are eating berries, huh? You know what? Hang on. I don't need this. Let me take this off. We are cranking out forage. Let me take you off. Put you on here. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Let's see here. What else? Uh, so you forgot to... Qu I, oh, I forgot questions about waters. Okay, yeah. So, uh, sorry. To answer Barrio's question... Sorry, 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 Barry. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, what's the difference, uh, what is the, with the different water, and that wasn't covered in the tutorial. Okay, so the different water colors here is the drizzle water, which is green, and you can only collect the green water during the, uh, during the drizzle phase. So here are the three different colors here. Drizzle, clearance, and storm. And storm water, uh, you know, the name storm water, you can only collect during the storm. Drizzle water, you can, like, collect only during the drizzle. And the clearance only during the 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 clearance so when you build a rain collector and anyone can build a rain collector right after you complete the tutorial 
Because I did notice that the rain collector wa was available to me when I played Viceroy on my first town after the tutorial. So you can actually collect the drizzle water uh, just to use. But the thing is, you won't be able to pipe the, the buildings until I think you get to level 7 or something, right? I haven't... I can't remember, right? So level 7 is when you can actually pipe this. So this... This little tab right here is not available to you, and it's called Rain Engine Upgrade, and I think it's only level 7 of the Citadel. But you are allowed to collect the water because some of these buildings, for example, um, some of these buildings require water to to use, like, for example, the beanery or whatever, right? Or, or say, like, if you get the Brickyard unlocked, the Brickyard has these recipes, right, to use the... Um, the the rainwater and i think some some quests when you open them like the fuming machine has like options to use rainwater to solve the quest and that's why they let you build the rain collector so that you can collect water to be able to use now each rain collector has a storage capacity of 50. so if you build a second rain collector right if you build a second one you increase another another 50 uh, capacity, right? So I'm gonna do that now, actually. Because I do want to start collecting more green water. Because right now, my green water capacity is only at 50. And as you notice, the beanery is constantly burning the green water. So I want to be able to have a surplus to be able to, with, to use that all year round. So thank you for pointing that out or asking that question. It just kind of reminds me I need to get another rain collector. Okay, one more thing I want to point out, right? So with the, the geyser pump that you can build to collect rainwater, right? Um, each each one of the, the geysers um, have a different color associated to it. You can actually build, say, a rain uh, a geyser pump on top of it. And now this pump right here in itself um, is a 50 storage capacity, right? So this is the reason why you see a hundred here because I have a stormwater geyser here or geyser pump and then the 50 that I originally get here. But if you notice here, I only get 50 and the green water here I only get 50 because this this one here is only for the blue. But the rain collector can be for all all the colors. So that's that's the other little nuance for for the the stormwater geyser pumps all right so now this i think i get free wood cutting right yeah i get free wood cutting so i'm gonna take this one because then i can actually cut trees during the storm and get free insects this is a really good cornerstone pick here and then i'm gonna take i think i said i was gonna take the one on the right right yeah i was gonna go with the right and then I want to turn this into a fox district over there. Um, hang on, let me go ahead and add all my workers here since it's now free. And then I'm going to look at this guy. I forgot to look at this guy. See what he's offering me. Nope. Oh want to buy any of this, right? Oh, the rain mill, huh? No, that is very attractive. I need to come up with eight coins. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, I do need to come up with eight coins. Where am I going to come up with that money? Or that. I mean, I guess I could sell that, right? I don't want to sell the parts. What can I sell for this eight? I need to sell ten, right? Do I have any orders? I'm gonna get two off of this, right? I don't need to. Oh, but he won't buy two. What can I get off of this guy? I definitely want that rain collector or rain mill. Three coins. If I dump all that, that's fine. Let's go ahead and dump all that. I can always get more. That's four, right? I don't need that for anything. Let's go ahead and dump all of that. Oh, wait, wait, no, I need... I do need it. No, I actually turned it in already. 
All right, so let me go ahead and get eight again. Eight. Dump all this. Dump all this. And maybe the planks. Definitely. Okay, let me go ahead and get rid of these planks. Are we almost there yet? Okay, there we go. I need this. That is going to solve most of my problems there. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Nice. I got a I got a rainmail, guys. Very, very nice. Alright, we'll spit out some more there. Alright, we need, we gotta get this going, right? Not today. Not today. Take all these lizards. Oh, I gotta leave the lizards in there, huh? Oh, shit. I gotta leave the lizards in there. For that 15 buff. Well, that stinks. How many do I need? 25, right? If I let go... Okay, they're eating jerky, so I can get, let this guy go. Okay. Oh, it's what, what do I want to do with that one? I need to clear this out, right? Hang on, let me before I move. All right, let me move this. What about this? I don't want to. Yeah. All right. So the green water I need to collect, right? Okay. I get rid of that one. I don't have any more money, right? Oh no, I don't have any more money. I don't want to open that. There. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually holding control. So that way I don't cut into this accidentally. And these are control. Hang on. Control. Control shave, right? Hang on. Let me remove this just in case. There. All right, I'm happy. Let's see. I need to get this running right. So I can put the rain mill pipe in this. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I need two more pipes though. I'm gonna put you extra on there. I need to start utilizing the other farm. I definitely need to get this side going here soon. All right, let me go ahead and put a warehouse by this then. Yep, I'm going to put a warehouse there. And that way we can clear this out in a little bit. All right, so now I could probably get that fox home set up here, right? Oh, let me move this first. Let me move you over here first so I can clear all this section here. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll wait on that, I guess. I can take you off now, right? I can take you off. Well, that means you can start helping out with stuff, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put you back onto this. Alright, I'm gonna put you back on that. Alright, what do we got here? 
All right, let's we can speed this up now, right? I think we should be fine. Okay, that rain mill I think was totally worth it. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and move this over here, right? Alright, let me go ahead and salvage this so we can get that over there. need to get one of these over there. And the yellow water, oh, blue water. Oh god, blue water. Oh no! Oh, you proc, thank you for that. You gotta get that blue water back in place. No, I gotta get a human on that one, right? Well, technically, I only need four. I only need four. Well, they should be able to harvest that with four. Or three, right? Three. Sorry, I meant three. So that will be eight on this side, and then I should be 20 on this side. And I should have another house over here. After. Um, Alright, let's see here. Lizard home, right? Do some lizard homes. Alright, come on, foxes. Oh, hey, we moved to the left. Oh man, these two choices. I think I got this choice exactly like four blueprints ago. Remember that? And I re-rolled it. Did I re-roll it? I think I re-rolled it, right? Didn't I get this? This is so deja vu. I got this exact set earlier. Alright, we gotta get this tavern going, right? Yeah, we gotta get that tavern in play. Okay, let's go with that. Nice, plus two. You're six, oh god. I just realized the problem we're in here, year six. Oh man, I just realized we're at year six. I need to get... We're at year six. Um... I need this ASAP. Alright, you help out. You help out. You get ready. You get ready. You get ready. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. 40405, 428. Oh my god. Oh god. Here we go. I fell asleep during your stream. I wake up eight hours later and you're still here. Amazing. Hey, Mochin. Appreciate that. Ancient hearth. Come on. Blow that up. We're still alive. Bima. Hey.
Okay. That one should give me more wood, right? 530? Wow, we actually have a lot of wood off that guy. How much coal do I have? Hang on, how much... How much of the stone... Hearth? I've already built the hearth, right? I already... I don't need that again. I need this, right? That's wood. That's wood and whatever this is. Oh, I can't do that, right? Oh, come on. Shoot. Accidental. Done. Nice. Remove. I gotta get what? I think it's fabric, right? I think I'm missing fabric. Oh, God. All right, since I'm missing fabric, then you need to do this for me. Next. Good thing we have a plantation, because I can always manipulate that. And get whatever the hell I want. We can probably cut down on this. I need to figure out how to get more green water. Yeah, I need, I need to get more green water. What do you have for me? Oh, look at that, guys. Oh my goodness, that one too. The one on the right actually gave us a lot of money. I don't know. Do I have containers? Do I have containers? This last game, this actually carried us. Hey, Uz, Uzi PI, appreciate that. Hello. This one right here on the left. I can start getting more mushrooms, right? I don't know. What do you think? Getting another six, right? Ten for six is amazing. Every time we get mushrooms... But I don't know how we're going to get containers, though. We don't have a way to make brewery, right? No, see, we don't have any... Any way to make the... The ale. I think I'm just going to have to go with the loft. Because that's kind of an iffy, right? It's never the same. Is this game worth to buy? It's not boring to do same thing over and over again? It's definitely not the same. Like, every run has been very challenging for me. It's definitely worth buying. If you're watching my stream and you're you're pondering over whether you want to to take that 25% discount that's going on Steam right now, I would definitely take it now for 15 bucks because A, this is the best discount they've they got going and the price is going up after 20, the, the discount is over. So, and even if they do raise the price, it's definitely worth 30 bucks. Right? This is not town building game. It's roguelike. I mean, you okay, you could play this game like a town building game if you have the un, the uh, the training expedition unlocked. And then once you win the game, right? Once you win the game, you set the easiest difficulty on the the training expedition. You can actually continue the town and play it infinitely if you wanted to. Right? So technically, this is a town building game and you can do whatever you want after you've won. And it's really an enjoyable. I actually have done that before. I got bored of it because it's just, at the end of the day, it's like I usually get bored with town building games like, you know, Farthest Frontier or whatever the hell the other town building games are, right? Banish or whatever, right? This particular town building game is very challenging because it's roguelike, as FEMA said, because every game has sort of a variation, right? And... It's kind of like a like a card game almost, right? If you ever play like Kingdoms Reborn, it feels a little bit like Kingdoms Reborn in some sense. But the difference between this and Kingdoms Reborn is that once you unlock the blueprint, you get that as part of your building selection. Versus Kingdoms Reborn, you're always having to depend on getting a card over and over and over to get that that town construction or that building construction, right? But overall, like, this game 
doesn't really ever feel the same to me every time I play it. Okay, thanks for your advice. I will definitely give it a try and buy it. Yeah. I mean, you can also get the demo. They've got a demo going right now. So if you don't... If you're, if you're not sure, you can try out the demo. But I don't think that you get the same experience playing the demo. Because the demo, I think, only lets you play over and over the same thing. Right? But once you, once you get the real game... That's where the real fun is, right? It's never the same experience twice. That's all I can tell you. Better buy it now while it's on sale. Yeah, exactly what Greg PL is saying. It's it's definitely a, a good buy. I'm going to go with the left. I don't need to take on more people, right? That's 20 on that side, 8 on that side. And I don't need to take on people, yeah. All right, let's speed this up. Yeah, so I'm not taking on people because I don't want to go over hostility level two. And I'm pretty happy with my current status. And lizards are going to pay out like two points total. Then I'm going to switch over to the, to the foxes. And then... Oh, but if I... I need to take people to make money, right? If I don't take people, I don't make money. Hmm. I'm thinking about that. If I take five more... Well, I guess I can take two more, right? And then finish off this lizard thing and get my butcher. You know what? I'll take the... I'll take... I'll take on more people, actually. Three. Okay, I'm gonna go with the loft. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the left. Cause then I can actually just try to get my lizard resolve up. And I'm gonna pry I'm gonna try to get eight on or sixteen on this or fourteen on this side, right? Hang on. I'm gonna clone that guy over there. I'll have that as my box district for now and then put two lizards over here yeah I'll just put the two lizards over here so like that way I'll get like two I'll get this to level two right yeah I'll just do that with a level two uh, one and a garden two we'll go with that hi Ron I just made P P20 and I only failed like 10 to 15 times for the whole run. I would not have made it without watching your VODs. Oh, thank you for that comment, by the way. Um, Iovana, um, I wanted to know which cornerstones you think are the best. Minus hostility on three blight rot is insane, my opinion. Okay, you're talking about the baptism of fire. Yes, that cornerstone is definitely amazing, but the number one cornerstone, if you watch my stream, you'll know that I like killing people off, right? To shave off my hostility. And so the best cornerstone, in my opinion, is called Hidden from the Queen. Where it lets you kill off people with no consequences. This bar will not move when you kill off people. And that is the most amazing cornerstone, in my opinion. Right, because then you can actually you can actually lower your hostility when you do that, right? So so minus ten hostility for three blight rot, that's cool. But killing off people is better because if you stack that with something like this, cannibalism, see that? I gained I gained 120. Right? I killed off four people and I gained 120 meat. And then if you get the cornerstones, like yeah, Greg uh, Greg says Ron's favorite is hidden for the sure so oh yeah so the queen thing it's really good also miss piercer okay okay so my second favorite is actually ancient pact it's not miss piercer okay miss piercer is somewhat situational i'll explain to you the difference did i'll explain to you the difference between ancient pack and miss piercer ancient pack the regular version not the storm ver storm storm forge version right the regular version says that you kill off somebody when you break through a dangerous or forbidden glade. 
but it gives you the ability to see through all the glades, right? But if you open, say, a small glade, nothing happens. You still have to spend, like, you know, five coins to open the glade, but you don't lose anybody. You don't lose anything, right? Miss Piercer, if you open a small glade, you still have to pay the five coins, but you lose 0.5 in patience for, for opening small glades, right? So that's the difference between the two. Now, I mean, obviously, if you open the large glades, you lose 0.5. Now, Miss Piercer is technically better than Ancient Pact because you lose only 0.5. If you if you kill a villager off, you lose the you you lose 0.5 from this, right? And you also lose 0.3, so a total of 0.8. So almost like one full bar if you open if you open up with Ancient Pact. But the reason why I like the Mist Pier or the Ancient Pack over the Mist Piercer is I can pop little glades for free. And then I might not ever open up the large glade. But then when I do open up a large glade, I get the chance to kill off somebody. Right? And that helps a lot if I just want to kill one person off. Right? It gives me control. If I only want to kill one person, I can use Ancient Pack. If I only if I want to kill three. I, I don't pay the cost, I, I blow all my money, and then open the large glade, and I kill three people, right? Now, why why killing people is really great is that if you ever, if you ever get the, the, um, hopefully we'll find it today, stream, but if you've watched my other VODs, the, uh, the Altar of Decay, right, it's the building that says you get minus 25 hostility reduction for every person that that leaves or dies and it's retroactive right so let's say you've lost like let's say right now i've lost like four people right from this and if i come across like say the altar of decay i'll get like a minus 100 hostility right off the bat right so that's that's why i like hidden from the queen because then you can actually combine that with killing people off and reap all the rewards from from killing people off right um, sometimes it happens, but he always has a choice when you take orders. Um, okay, yeah, the queen thingy is really good. Also, Miss Piercer, I I thought about hidden from the queen in that good uh, in that way. Good to know. Uh, open the scary one. Yeah, I understand. I haven't done any Stormforge yet. Okay, so the Stormforge version of hidden or of the um, the Miss Piercer and Ancient Pack is you can actually look into all the glades for free, and there's no consequences. That's the Stormforge version. That's the thing that you get from the um, the altar, the Forsaken Altar, right? And don't listen to Ron. He just likes to kill people, right? <laughs> Killing people is really good. <laughs> Return chatter. Thank you for returning there, Mochin. Um, all right. So let's see. What do we have here? I'm not a big fan of the one on the right. Two ale, though. It's not terribly bad, right? I don't, do I want to re-roll, or do I want to take it? I mean, yes, I mean, it's not terribly bad. only have, like, one beer drinker. Better scrolls. I'm trying to talk myself into getting this, but... I think it's just better re-roll this. No. Oh, well, that's interesting. A clay pit, huh? Now, if only I get, like, say, a stamping mill, hmm. Or a brickyard. I think, oh, okay, God. What do I, oh, man. Now, the brick oven is the best in the game. The clay pit's really nice because I actually can, can get all that clay and make as much bricks as I want. And I'm kind of brick starved soon, right? now. I actually have to do. I do have a lot of stones, but the pottery, the pottery, I think, I don't have pottery right now, but the pottery uses clay, right? On what difficulty are you playing right now? It's Prestige 20. It's in the, the title of the game or title of the stream. All right, so I don't, I need this to 22, right? Oh, okay, let me take this off. Oh, I can't take it off, right? Let me, oh, I can't take it off, guys. Oh, the reason why it tilted was because... 
I need homes, right? I need homes. Actually, I need two. I need all lizard homes. I need, I need, yeah, I need all lizard homes. Hang on, let me see here. What am I missing? Fabric. Oh my goodness, I'm missing fabric. Yeah, I'm missing fabric for the lizards. I'm thinking here. Don't I have a tavern? Come on, where's this tavern? Also fabric. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hang on, hang on. I, I need that one, right? But I take... Oh, my God. If I take that one, I get six people showing up. But that's definitely more efficient than what I currently have. Hmm. Jesus Christ. I'm thinking here. I need to kill off more people, don't I? Yep, I need to kill off more people if I take six on that. Alright, we'll wait a little bit. I definitely need to open some glade anyways. I'm thinking here. No, I'll wait a little bit. I need this, right? I need fabric. I need planks too, don't I? That's four. What do you got for me? Oh, damn it. Oh my god. Alright, let's go ahead and take this off. Switch over to... To, um... Foxes, right? I can favor the foxes. Settler, Pioneer, Veteran, Viceroy, and... And Prestige, 20 levels, right? And 20 Prestige levels. Yeah, 20 Prestige levels. Oh, I did not know that mean a difficulty level. I thought it is like usual, easy, normal, hard, and so on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was explaining that earlier, um, Uzi, about... I guess you just followed 15 minutes ago. About an hour ago, or, or 30 minutes ago, uh, somebody asked the same question about the difficulties. And I had our... Yeah, I think about an hour ago, I had that discussion earlier. Explaining to, explaining to people what the difficulties were. Oh, I can't move that, huh? Hang on. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck this building here. There's nothing in there, right? I'm gonna wreck this building here. So we can get some... Some wood back. And I need to put people... Oh, it's too late now. I was gonna put people in there. Jesus Christ. To get that going. This should give me the plus three, right? That's fabric, right? That's fabric. I'm bottlenecked by the fabric. Uh, are you Poland? Yeah, Greg is from Poland, yeah. You have special modifiers on map where you choose your village, new village that makes it harder or easier. Yes. There's different ways to play the game to make it challenging and fun. Alright, I'm gonna put you across the street from that. That hole is open. And this guy here... He's in a really bad, weird spot. Let me go ahead and move him somewhere else. Yeah, let's just stick him in this corner here. That's fine. I think he's way out of our range, right? I guess I I don't have to answer. Yesterday was no pause. Yeah, we did a no pause yesterday, right? Or no? Yesterday's daily was no pause, right? I actually did this on no pause like three times already. Uh, once, twice on P20, and then once on a, a on a P20 experimental, and I've won twice. I think once I've lost once on the sorry no I've lost once on the prestige on the on the experimental. Um, so I did lose once on the press uh, on the experimental, and then I won twice on live. So it's pretty interesting. It's very fun. No, 
no pause wasn't that hard. I played it. I I was only on P15 or something, but I yeah, it's on my YouTube channel. I have a no pause listed there. If you're interested in watching that. It was pretty stressful because you got to realize when I'm playing on no pause and I actually was watching my own VOD cuz I was putting it in the description and I was kind of amazed how it, at how I was able to actually still Oh god, I need to kill somebody off. Or figure out how to get that lizard up. I was amazed how I was actually able to answer chat questions and everything and still do explanation of the game while playing no pause. I was like, what? That was crazy. It's much harder for you to for you with no pause since you have to interact with people at the same time. Yes, exactly. Well, that was that's what I was trying to say was I was amazed how I was, was able to even answer questions and talk to people on no pause. It was like somebody asked some question, I was playing no pause and I'm like, "My god, how was I even like answering that guy's question and still paying attention to the screen?" It was crazy watching my own VOD. Okay, you are done done, right? Yeah, you're done done. Alright, so we got this one right here, right? Uh, was it today's daily? Anyone knows? I don't. I don't play the daily, and I've answered why I don't play the daily a while ago. Um, one of the reasons I don't play daily is because of the the faction um, competition. It doesn't actually work with the the faction competition. Come on. Not so much porridge, look at that. I have a ridiculous amount of porridge. I have flour, what am I gonna do with that flour? I don't have a kitchen, right? I do have a kitchen, I guess I could make, could make biscuits, right? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and make biscuits then. I still haven't decided which one I wanna go with. I mean, I could take the brick oven, but then I wouldn't be able to get more clay, right? And I always feel like I need the clay. Wow, the beavers. The forest, or sorry, the forester's hut, right? It's three. Yeah, I'm okay with that. They gotta bathe and forage. Okay, so the reason I place that on that side is it only needs the plant. And then I'm gonna place this on this side closer to the warehouse because this guy harvests and needs to deliver. I don't I don't harvest on the forester's hut. I only plant on the forester's hut. So this is actually better this direction, right? Uh, just to just to explain to you why I placed it on over here versus like why didn't I place it over here instead? Um I need this, right? I need one more plank. And I need to kill somebody off, or she needs to go over to eight. There you go. So now I'm back under to two. So she reached eight, so I got an extra minus 15 off of her impatience, right? So that allowed me to drop under this. I mean, I could switch boxes into... Oh, I actually can't. I'm on Watchtower. Yeah, foxes will... Normally, foxes can help me tilt the the hostility, but in this case, since fox, since I'm playing on Watchtower, the foxes are actually useless. On this particular map. Well, probably Ron will not play daily anyways. 
Yeah, I don't I, I don't play daily and I actually explained why I don't. And I've given feedback to the devel developers and hopefully they'll figure out how to make the dailies work. I mean, they do have some sort of plan to, to fix up the world map interaction. So the whole faction thing might change a little bit. Okay. Do I want to take that group or not? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, bed and breakfast. Oh. Well, how, how much of the bed and breakfast can I gain, right? Year 9? Year 10. That's 20 coins. I think looting this is going to be better, right? Yeah, I'm going to take this one. Because then I can loot this and get that minus 15 hostility right away. I'll wait a little longer, though, before I do that. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and increase this to... 150 there. Hey, thank you for that follow there, quad dam. Appreciate that. Alright, let me go ahead and redo this. Reactivate these. The reason I took it off was because during the storm, the recipes producing materials for building materials is 50% goods. So I didn't want to have to deal with that. I'm going to put that there, I guess. All right, you know what? I'm going to switch back to this. So we can get more... More porridge material or more pies, right? Actually, I probably don't need this either, right? We already have enough. Let's go ahead and cut this off at 200. And then we're going to go like this. And make some pickled goods. And I need, oh yeah, 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 I need more green water people, right? And then what do, what do I have going here? Do I want to pop something? Oh my god, is that cap? I think there's a cap limit, guys. I wonder if there's a cap limit. I think there's a cap limit, guys. Oh my god, there might be a cap limit. Is there a cap limit? Does it go over? It's not, right? I don't know. That's kind of bizarre, right? Oh, to answer your question, I haven't done the archaeology yet because I'm trying to open it up first and figure out where to place it. You had over a thousand K? Okay, all right. That's cool. Give me a second here. Let me think here. I need to open up this one, right? Let's open this one first. I have the money. So I can get into that archaeology thing. I do want to get into that archaeology dig site. I think it's this one. It's got to be that one. Or that one. I only have enough money for, for one or the other. Yeah, I only have enough money for one or the other. I mean, I could bring in more people, right? Could bring in more people to get 15 coins. Oh, the 18 clothing fulfilled fulfillment, right? Oh, I forgot about the 18 clothing fulfillment. Hmm, I do need to get clothes at some point. I need more humans, right? I need more humans for that. Well, let me switch over to the lizard so I can actually finish this first. Then we'll get the skewers, right? And then the other problem is I need to get more humans, right? Total of four humans. 
So I'll have to go with the left. I mean, the coats I can always... I need to make more than 18. That's not going to last. All right, because I got to fulfill that for two minutes, so... But I need to get the left to get more humans in. It does not... It does not complete it automatically. Have at least 18 villagers with clothing need fulfilled for... For two... Two minutes. And so if the first one gets it, and then two minutes later, let's, okay, let's say like the first, let's say they go in different waves, right? They go in different waves. So the first guy goes in, he sits on the, the fulfillment for like a, a minute, two minutes. The, the second wave comes in and grabs like the other, the other 17. The first guy finishes, but the second guy now is in the second two minute phase, right? So it does not automatically complete the quest. I can tell you that much. Right, you need 18 people fulfilled all at once. So if they go in waves or they're staggered, it does not. So so you'll probably need at least 36. And I've done this before. I think like even 38, I actually failed it. So 38 coats, I think I failed it. Because I actually bought 38 once. And okay, the reason why... It's failed is sometimes I think they use double services or something, right? There's there's a it's similar to this variation. All villagers have 50% chance of eating twice, right? I think there's a a variation of that or it might have been something that caused it to lose two instead of instead of one. I can't remember. I can't remember if it's on this list or not, but it might it's it's definitely one of the cornerstones that caused it. Okay, it's not not cornerstone. I meant like forest mystery. I guess I guess it's the services there's no variation of that. Um But yeah, 18 is not much. The the the, the thing is I have to come up with the coats. <laughs> or I have to have the uh, the ability to make it, right? I I can't make it right now. But this is not a big deal to solve. I just gotta have the ability to make it. Alright, do I want the clay or do I want the brick oven? That's the question of the day. And I need to probably take in people, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take the left now. So I get the money. I got 20 coins, right? Do I need to open a large one or not? Let's get let's let's be risky and open this up because I want to know what's behind that door. Yeah, let's do that now. Door number one. Oh shit! They gotta they gotta return that to the warehouse. Damn it. They're not gonna. They're not gonna base. I, I, the reason I, I move that to the warehouse is because this is all full, and they're gonna walk back and forth between here to here and here anyway. So that's the reason why I moved it right next to the warehouse, so they can actually just transport it faster. Thing in here. I guess I'll wait next next year, right? I'll wait next year. Oh, there's actually coats here, huh? Nine, yeah, that's fine. It's not that. Uh, hmm. Let me think about that. Uh. Okay, I still need three more humans to show up. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take this. Damn it! I'm short one. <laughs> Damn it! I'm short one. And I almost screwed up my lizard thing, right? Almost screwed up my lizard thing. Is the lizard gonna get screwed? No, right? I have like a ton of jerkies. Okay, so I should be able to get that for two. I was hoping to turn this in and get the, liz the humans I needed. And I was gonna buy the coats I needed from the guy, right? I'm gonna buy 40 of these. 
maybe 42 just in case. Have to be on the safe side, right? It's like in here. What can I give up for that, though? What can I give up for that? Damn it. What can I give up for that? I mean, I could give up Amber, but I don't... I just bought my... Oh. Shit. I guess I can give up coal, right? Yeah, I guess I can give up some coal. There we go, that's fine. It's denied consumption, right? Alright, so you... Well, the window is kind of past, right? I don't know. Well, we do have foxes, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and break through that. What's the worst thing that can happen to us, right? Yeah, what's the worst thing that can happen to us? I've been sitting on that forever. Jesus Christ. All right, what do you got for me? Oh, okay, Leaky Cauldron Workshop. Workshop's not terribly bad, I guess. It's better than this, right? All right, it's fine. What do I want, left or right? Planting faster is not important, but getting these tools and bars is probably useful. Oh, but I don't have any containers. I'm gonna go with the left. That's fine. I'm okay with that. This is a food production, food thingy, right? I don't mind that because then we can actually make, we can make stuff with that. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Only five minutes, right? Yeah. So clearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Well, it's not terribly bad. I have 10 coins left, right? Alright, cool! We found the... The archaeological... Or sorry, archaeological di discovery site, right? Which one do I want to give up? I'll give up the mushrooms. I'll give up the fabric. Investigate. Alright, so going back to the... The archaeology office. Well, I need I need planks for that to work. I was gonna talk about that earlier. And uh huh. I mean that is better, but I don't know. We'll see. If I wanna set up anything over there though. It's kind of a far journey. Do I need oven or clay pit? What do you guys think? Oven or clay pit? Oh yeah, okay, it does go up to a thousand. Okay. It does go up to a thousand. I was like 999, that looks so weird. But yeah, I actually have seen a thousand before. I forgot. I have seen a thousand. Um I don't think I'm gonna have I mean the only reason to keep the clay pit is if I need to make pottery stuff, right? And if I do the oven, I can knock that out of the way right now and win the game. Alright, because we have... We have flour. You know what? I'm just going to take the oven and screw it. Oh, the monastery! Oh, thank God. We were just talking about that earlier. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Right, where do I want to stick this monastery, though? Dang, on it. Buildings. Hang on, let's just move this over here. Move this over here. I do want to clear this out, right? I'm going to stick the monastery in there. So I gotta come up with more bricks. 30 of these. And then you're already working on this one, right? Yeah, we're good with that. It's like, hang on, I could probably just go cut through this, right? Let's see here. Carve that layer. And that's a lot of wood I need to come up with, right? And that that should give me plus one with the Explorer's Lodge. Wanda. There we go. All right, let's see here. The butchers, right? I get skewers, everyone will be happy, and then we get skewers, right? Go ahead and take that. All right. All right, let me go ahead and move you over here for now. The butcher across the street from this makes it easier. No more skewers. I'll let you. I'll let. You, I'll let that one slide. I'll let that last one slide. Do I have more pipes? I don't have more pipes. We can make more pipes though, right? Soon. Oh, wait, hang on. Because we're going to get the bars for that. Oh, coats. There we go. Boom. And the and tools, right? Smithy. Nice. That works for me, too. Dang. I didn't even crank out that freaking crude workstation to hurry up. I can go with this, but I guess the travel time's kind of long, though. All right, how, was, how long is the monster? Okay, we're, we're got, we should be getting the monastery now, right? Here we go, monastery it is. Happy days. And you need 29, right? I don't think I can get to 29. Not right now. I need to kill people off to get that 29 to work. Did they already consume all that skewer that I just got? Look how crazy that is. They just They just consumed all of it. Wow, look at that. They just ate all of it like that. That's nuts. Well, I don't need that now, right? I already have 
44. I just need one more human to show up. And then we're set. I'm okay if a lizard leaves. I think I kind of want one lizard to leave, to be honest. Well, I guess he's not leaving anytime soon now, huh? Oh, oh. Let me turn this off. Because we're on level three. Well, I guess ugh, I probably should let the. I do want to kill off one lizard. I'm just gonna let that lizard leave. I actually don't care. I really don't want that lizard. 14. There's four. Yeah, I definitely don't want that lizard. I'm mean. I normally love my lizards, but he's an odd number and I don't really want that odd number. How's my pie business? We're gonna need pies, right? Brick oven. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're gonna get pies and everyone will be happy. I doubt the lizard's gonna leave. 15, I think he might tank it. I need to use yellow water, right? I need to get... I need to get this removed. So I can get a hearth in here. Alright, what do we got here? What, what is this? 14 on that side. I need 8 on the other side. We've got like, what? 5 homeless? 6 homeless? Plus 4? Oh, the lizard didn't leave. Damn lizards. Hoping they would leave. I think this is year 9, right? Reroll. Oh, tightening from the belt. Sure, I guess I'll take it. It's like a freebie. Don't, oh yeah, I do need the tablet. I have ten. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and set up that archaeology office. Archaeologist office, right? Yeah, I guess I'll stick that there. That's fine. I already found the first one, so I don't need the first one. Yeah, I'll pay that one. That's my first free upgrade. And then we're gonna stick this hearth here. Oh, oh. Oh. Huh. I think it was right there is where, where I wanted it, right? Oh, God. Not where I want it. Alright, that's fine. Like this. That's... Okay, that's fine. And then you need more planks. Are you selling me planks? You can buy planks off this guy, right? Instead of making it. Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to bother trying to make it. I have so much wood now. It's like, yeah, I don't need to make it. I'll just sell sell all my crap for it. Otherwise, this would take forever. Mm. 
All right, see you later. All right, I guess we'll have to do the monastery, right? All right, who who can who I who can I move? The butcher, right? Mushrooms. Um. All right, here we go. Oh wow, the humans are actually happy. Oh, I need one more human, right? Oh Jesus, there's too many humans. I need exactly one. Oh man, I might have to make more coats. <sighs> Shit. Okay, that might be okay. Let's see here. If I go with the right. I go with the right, I get even foxes, right? I go left. That's uh, which is better. I guess I'll go with the right. That's fine. Whatever. Alright, releasing releasing the coats. Thank you for that follow there, old garb disc. Appreciate that. Well now we're gonna go for this. And I need to get open another one for that one, right? I gotta use all my yellow water. So we're gonna try to use some yellow water to make these humans happy. Water. This is year nine, right? So we we already know what happens at year nine. I need to prepare for year nine. I'm missing one part. I can't get any more parts, right? Uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So this one right here, I want that one, right? I don't. Do I need to discover the next location? I probably don't, right? Okay. Yeah, that's fine, right? Dang. Dang. Alright, that's fine. I'll upgrade it. Screw it. You gotta give me more... More shit there. Alright, that's fine. Okay, I did a control, control on that one, so should be fine. Need fulfilled, right? Oh shit! I think I might actually have to do this. Yeah. Might actually have to use this. Do I have enough fabric? That's the question. Oh god, I don't have enough fabric. I don't have enough fabric. Oh, I need to turn this off. Switch you over here. Yeah. For looting. Coats are gonna run out soon, right? Oh shit, it's probably gonna run out soon. 49 seconds? I don't think I, I don't know if I bought enough. Yeah, I think it might, oh god. 30 seconds and I've got 10 coats left. Can I maintain that? I might have gotten enough. I got, what, 44, right? 
I had 44. Okay, okay, we made it. We made it. Nice. Boom. You don't need to make this anymore. No, no. What do you got for me? These are awful. They keep wanting to give me the dumb scribe. Shit. That's, oh. I mean, what could I possibly need still, though, right? Better biscuits, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what could I possibly need. Yeah, okay. So I do need to open up something, right? Oh, I got two parts off of that. That's not bad, actually. Oh, shit. The humans are done, huh? I, I didn't even make a human house either. That's kind of crazy. 2020 there, right? Oh god. I forgot to make homes. Okay, let's go ahead and put people over here. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, right? It's like three, that's 12, right? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Make one of these over here. Scary Glade for the win. Well, we'll see. We will try to hit the Scary Glade here. Oh! Oh! We might actually lose people. But that's okay. If that happens, it happens, right? We might actually lose people here. If we lose people, eh, I'm not too... Too concerned. I'm gonna re-roll this. Jesus Christ! F my life! <laughs> oh, come on! I, oh, you know what? I forgot to choose that one. I clicked on the wrong one. I did have the incense. Oh, they used it all. They used it all. I had the incense. Alright, the excavation site was kind of a... Meh. I guess I'll take the clothier. God damn it. Dumb. Oh, the tea house. Well, it doesn't really matter though at this point. It doesn't matter anymore. I think I got it right. I need to pop one dangerous and we win. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Forgot about that. I just need to kill off three, three people anyways. Who cares? Wow, I actually got that, huh? Wow, I got that. Alright, so this is gonna give me two points. And I got one and a half to go. So I gotta burn all my yellow water here. To get people to be happy, right? May something. You know what? Let's go ahead and crank this up too. I'm surprised that I actually s survived that. Alright, here we go. 
put you back so I can get more green water the next run. All of our green water's running out. It's 11 on that side, right? That's 24, that's 14. Certainly don't need to bring in more people. If I just buy that, I think we're good, right? Well, I just need to solve one more dangerous. Hang on, which one of these guys can I favor to the max? Alright, we'll go with that one. Alright, what are you offering me? And I could just buy that straight up, right? And then we're good. 28, what is that? 28 coins. Except people, right? Oh, the prayer book is going to help. I'll take the prayer book. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop something, I guess. The time has come to pop something. Alright, so one, two... So two points off of that, one point off of that. I could probably just do the chess and we're good, right? Eh. Uh, your pickle good? The beanery, right? Beanery's... Oh, okay. Alright, you're done. I guess you do biscuits, then. And the pies. I forgot to install the pie thingy. Alright. Lizards, unite! Oh, withering tree! Half my life. Withering tree... Hmm. Jesus Christ. How many I've only discovered two, right? So it's not terribly bad. That's one point as a solve, right? I solved that and I solved my problem. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Oh, I'm thinking here. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and activate this. I'm okay with it. Let's do this. I mean, we've already cleared out year five, or year nine, right? So we're in year ten. Just in case. Porridge, right? Oh, we ran out of porridge. Oh, God. We ran out of porridge. Tavern, geyser pump, monastery. Oh, I guess I could leave that there, right? Probably don't need half of this. I kind of need more people all of a sudden. Alright, fine. You go over there. And we need more porridge ASAP. Alright, hang on. Where are you at? Two in there, right? Woodcutter? Yeah, let me move you over here. Or, or do we have food? Oh, we didn't. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I guess it's fine, right? Do we have a lot of grains or no? Yeah, we, uh, we don't have a whole lot of grains. We do have a whole lot of flour. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and move along here. Three minutes on that solve. 
I play with Forbidden Lands modifier, and first glade I opened had Rain Punk Foundry inside it. Oh, ouch. Should be fine though, right? Provision or stink. So I solve this and we're we win, right? Yeah, I solve that, we win. The bars are not moving. Oh, lizards! Lizards are carrying us to the finish line. Yeah, this guy's gonna win. One point. One point off of that. All right, here we go. The time has come. <laughs> time has come. All right, here we go. Bye bye. No, oh, I didn't get what I wanted, but it's okay. Oh, great. Half our population died. Great. Look at that. That helped us, right? See, everyone else is happy that we killed off a bunch of people and we killed off the traitor. How funny is that, right? 15 seconds and we win. All right. Well, it's time for our giveaway then. Yep. We got everything we needed. And that is the end. We won. Not a terribly bad run. So our win streak now is 17 games in a row. That's our new win streak. 17 is the new magic number, guys. And we are number one. Oh, they, she didn't really give us the artifacts this time. That's terrible. Is everything upgraded in your center town thing? Yes, everything is upgraded, but you were losing so much points. Yeah, I was losing points, though. That's okay. We still won, though. All right, fresh new town. Oh, look at that. We got a chest there. I'll open that up next run. But yeah, I actually completed all my, my upgrades here. Everything's completed. All right, so this will be the end of the uh, the the against the storm, and now I'm gonna do the giveaway. So don't leave, guys. I gotta tally up the channel points, okay? So don't don't mess with the channel points. Um, let me go ahead and give my YouTube sign off here you've enjoyed today's stream don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and then if you're watching on twitch now don't forget to follow my youtube channel and if you're on my youtube channel don't forget to check out my twitch channel so that way you can uh, watch me live and ask any questions that you have and now i'm going to uh, do the giveaway so everyone else here on on twitch just hang tight i gotta tally up the channel points and i will uh, reveal the new wheel spin which is really cool so give me about two or three minutes. I gotta copy and paste all of the today's um, subs and uh, channel points redemption. So BRB.